The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. I'm just still fixing my earring. Welcome, Laura Binding, everyone. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry, I've got a cough sweet and I'm a bit, we're all a bit throaty. Nice. Which will be still. Oh, well, heads up would have been better if you'd have kind of told me that. that before. Well, I think if we get out of the way now, we'll be okay for Christmas, <laughs> won't oh, we? So yeah. You want me to kiss you now or later? Mm, <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about your kits today. I don't have any. So it's just amber. Just amber all day. So you're going to be giving us loads of fabulous demonstrations. I'm going to be throwing stuff at you and you're I going to know. be making stuff, yeah? I know. You know I like doing I that. I know, Laura. we said you that. Know. We didn't plan, we just said Jenny's just going to control it anyway. No, not control, <laughs> get excited by. Uh, shall I tell you what I am excited by? We're going straight mm. in to a star by. Oh, have that's a look. cute. Have a look at what you're getting here. The cat's coming up. The chain is, oh now, about now, it. the chain's about now, yeah. I'm just fixing these earrings. Do you want earrings. me to fix it for you? I've got it, I've got it, it was just because they were tight. Um, so we're really excited about giving you this chain, it's the first chain of the day. Having sterling silver mm. just makes everything complete, doesn't it? It's going under £10, we don't have enough, it's your first star buy, quick!
Oh, sorry, I had to crunch my golf sweet because this is too exciting. Sterling silver, this is a really long chain. And I think we've been waiting, like, do you know, Laura, when you do pieces of jewellery and it's that one thing you're waiting for, you haven't got any mm. sterling silver crimp beads and you've got everything else sterling silver, you haven't got any sterling silver chain, yep. or you haven't got a sterling silver lobster claw clasp. It's so aggravating. So if you're looking to create that beautiful piece or if you're looking at your stash now and you have absolutely zero chains, you need chains. You do. You need chains. <clears throat> Without do. chains. You, even if you don't need one right now, knowing you, you will need one 1st of January when somebody says, I got a beautiful pendant and I don't have a chain. Or, oh, I didn't get any jewellery for Christmas. Or, you yeah. know, if there is always a reason and it will creep up, up on you when you least expect mm -hmm. it. Be prepared for the creep uppers. <laughs> and get yourself the chain. So let's have a look at the chain itself because we're not doing the pendant just now, but that's coming up later. Here we have a really intricate Prince of Wales chain. Good old Charlie. So here we have that strength. Yeah. That robust, expensive looking chain. This is the kind of chain that you can wear on your own, on mm -hmm. its own. You don't have to have a pendant on it. it to me, this is a, an ideal chain. It's multifunctional. Yeah. It's something that you could give to somebody, like you say, um, and they can have that chain that would be their staple that they could add whatever pendant they want to add to or just wear it on its own. Mm -hmm. But also for me, so, so from my point of view as a wire worker, this is a lovely substantial chain. So when I use the sterling and silver, maybe make a like, nice focal pendant, mm -hmm. I've got that balance and chain to go with it. And that's really quite key because it is about balance when you're creating your jewellery. We've been doing gallery wire. Yeah. You know, make a gallery wire pendant, you need a sterling silver chain to go with it. 100% Laura. And when you've got <coughs> gallery wire, you've got that weight of silver mm -hmm. as well. And you need consistency. You do, you need it that balance. It is no good having sterling silver with something that's not sterling silver unless it's a temporary solution. Yeah. If you want that forever piece, it's got to be sterling silver, hasn't it? Or yeah. gold, solid gold or something like that. A precious metal to go with the beautiful things you've poured your heart and soul into. The finishing touches, it's all about the detail. If you've ever seen that film with Jennifer Aniston in it, Dumpling. It's all about the detail. That's a the good difference film. Is in, the I difference like is film. in the detail, and it is yeah. so true. It's great that it it's all about film. Dolly Parton as well, and it is. There's, I say this to my daughter. There is an appropriate Dolly Parton song <laughs> for every single yeah. part of your every situation. Dolly has a song yeah. for it. Kayla's really into. She loves nine to five at the moment. I love nine to five. And she's eleven. Love it. It's incredible. Here we go. I'd say she's a very down-to-earth lady indeed. Mm. Here we go. A Prince of Wales chain that is 18 inches long, ready to add that spice of luxury to your collection. But you've got to be quick to secure yours. Wait a minute, you're already going crazy for this. <laughs> Can't show if the stop's already gone, it's only 6 $9.99. Do you know though that's an incredible price and for such a substantial chain if you were and I don't know if you've noticed this Jenny but you know we've got lots of markets about them I and mean, we've got lots of mm -hmm. obviously your sort of jewellery shops a lot of them if you go in you mean like Christmas markets yeah you've got your Christmas market well you generally yeah. like your Christmas markets but also even if you just go into a jewellery shop yeah. a lot of the time if you say you saw that pendant or say you saw this on display you would think oh okay it's say it's whatever for the pendant. Mm. What it don't tell you is that the chain's an additional cost. Oh gosh, yes. So I often. bought an, an opal pendant for a friend whose birthday it was um, in October. And this going back three or four years ago, I bought mm. it from Cheshire. We are at a horse show actually and it was her birthday and we didn't know until last minute. And we saw it because she kept it secret. So I went into the town, mm. we all put money in and I got an opal pendant, except it didn't come with a chain. So yeah. I bought the cheapest chain. But they chain. display it like that. Do you know what happened? I just went, oh, just give me the most least expensive one because she can always change It'll it. It'll be a fine, fine, no, tiny. No, it was so short that it went into a choker oh. and the pendant was stuck up like that. And then I felt awful because I thought, now she's going to think she's got a fat neck when she hasn't because <laughs> I know my friend and I know she's going to be like, great, yeah. I've got a fat neck. But that's not the truth. It no. was a tiny chain. Either that or it's really fine and really like <laughs> yeah, barely worth break. being there. Yeah, so, break. yeah. Uh, so you're all seeing this price of multiplying. Karen, you've got two. Alison, you've got three. 
Oh, the gram weight is 2.7 grams. The Gosh, that's, that's grammy. It's very grammy. <laughs> uh, two for you, Karen. Three for you, Alison. Two for Wiltshire. Two mm. for Hampshire. Two for Inverclyde. Two for, uh, three for Somerset. Two for the West Midlands. Two for Essex. Two for Yorkshire. Well over half the stock has gone at 6 95 Do not leave this one to chance. Loads of your shopping. Why have you been looking for sterling chain? Have you just been thinking, God, oh, you know what? This is the sort of thing that you need. Tell us, tell us how you feel because there's jewelry makers out there that I think will make it their New Year's resolution to sell their jewelry on. Yeah, I mean, I would, if I was at home and it's genuine and I've done, and people know this from fact, I've done this with Elle before where we've been shopping and I've ended up buying for her and for me. I love buying this and putting it in my stash because I've got it so that when I do maybe make a pendant, mm. I know I actually go through the chains that I've got which are yeah. di various different styles to see which one suits the pendant that I've got. So yeah. it's nice to have them in your stock as a choice as well. Yeah. And my auntie wanted a sterling silver chain. Same, she broke the one that went with like her um, pendant. And I just gave her my box and said, go on, choose yourself a chain. Yeah. And she was like, really? So she's like, look, and she found a chain and she wears it all the time. Yeah, yeah, I wear my silver. I've got a really crap, rubbishy, um, sorry. I meant to say fine. You know when you're like, it's going to break. Look how yeah. fine that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Nearly said a naughty word then, but I didn't finish it, thank goodness. <laughs> I didn't finish it, so it was fine, but I nearly did say that. I'm so sorry. Love you lots, jury makers. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> no, um, do you know what? I never say bad words either. No. So that's really annoying for me now. It wasn't a, it wasn't a bad, bad word, though, was it? Look, no, look how no. fine that is. I wear that all the time. Do you know how much I panic that that's going to snap? Yeah. Yeah, because it, and one day it will. Yeah, exactly. I should change that actually. Yeah, because that this won't snap because no. that Prince of Wales. Look at all of the it's um, solid. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful chain. It's gorgeous, isn't it? QNI L forty eight is your ID code for that one. Jane's got two. Jewelry maker in Yorkshire's five. I don't blame you. Yeah. I reckon you sell your jewelry on. Yeah, it's exactly what I would be doing because I love to have the choice yeah. to be able to choose which one suits your pendant. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's give you. A set of three chains. You better tell me how much these are going to go for, because I think we ought to give everybody a fair chance. You better. I think it's yeah. really bossy. You better. Okay, let's have a look. Is it is Prince of Wales chain again? Yeah. Oh no. Right, come here. Oh, rope chains. I'd say. Would you say that's Prince of Wales chain? Because I'd say that's Prince of Wales. Come here. How long are these? What was the last one? So it's the same, so they're both long chains. Ah. Someone told me this, if you Last. just kind of Wiggle put it. your round nose pliers or some kind of fine pliers into a knot and sort of rotate it, it will untangle your knot. Well, that's very clever. So. Not Knotted chain, there's nothing more annoying, is there? One. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so you just got to get your pliers or, or, or something straight into the sort of middle of the knot and it should. This chain is shorter than the other chain, just so you know. The other chain was longer than 18 inches. I think it was 19 inches. Look, you I go. thought that. Look. So the other chain is slightly longer. There you go. But we're telling you that's 18 inches, but this is 18 inches, I'd say. So I reckon the chain you just bought is longer than what we said it was. But can I just say, doesn't that look pretty? Yeah, with both uh, together. With both yeah. together, yeah. Have you so got measuring stick laws? I do not, no. Measuring uh, stick. Otherwise known as a ruler. I just want to check the sizes for everybody. I've opened one for Isn't you. Isn't it lovely? Would it's you beautiful. say that's 18 inches? Because I'd say that's longer. Oh, thanks, Laura. Can we put that against the measuring <laughs> stick? <laughs> that um, doesn't go up to 18. No, OK, so we go, that's 12. No, oh, yeah. 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. Yeah, because you've got the extender on it. 18 inch. Whereas this one, I'd say, is longer than that. I just want to... Okay, right, so you've got three chains. I ought to show everybody the chain, really, oughtn't I? They're beautiful, and they're lovely, because they're just like almost like a slightly more delicate version of the one that we just had on. There this you go. This is so gorgeous. See, I would call that either... Yeah, I suppose we could call it rope, but it does look very much like a uh, Prince of Wales. 
the loose rope chains, 18 inches, 45 centimeters. You get three of these, not one, not two, but three. How much are you going to do them for each? 19.95, what's that each? Six sixty-five each. Oh, beautiful. It's not bad, is it? No, no. Not bad at all. No. We've only got six left because everyone's grabbing them. Can I see the names? Six left, that is it. Did you think that was longer? It's very slightly longer, probably about... I think it's because it's heavy. About a quarter of an inch mm. longer. Yeah, but that. you can see yeah. there is still a Yeah, it does a make a difference. Yeah. But what's great about these is that if you wanted to make them like these finer ones a little bit longer, if you had some sort of um, sterling silver chain on the rail, you can cut a couple of inches and make yeah. an extender for all of them anyway because mm -hmm. of the jump ring on the end. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to sort of make them adjustable, it's really. It is, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, you could do that easily. Well done to you. If you've got yours, Wiltshire, two for you, which means you're getting six. Margaret, Elizabeth, you've got to all check out your baskets, otherwise this is going to go. It's going to sell out. Where, sorry, darling? Oh. Now, we had a similar strand earlier, but all the same colour. The honeycomb hexagons this time are in a different colour, which makes me think even more of bees. Yeah, they're is. beautiful, aren't they? Isn't amber? Do you love amber? I do love amber, yeah. It's a beautiful gemstone. There's something really mystical and ethereal about amethyst. Yeah, it's just, I think it's just got a beautiful sort of feel to it, hasn't it? Mm. It is beautiful. It Definitely. Was, it was my mum's favourite gemstone as well, so. Was it? Yeah, I oh, have to so say. close to your heart. Yeah, then. definitely. But also, it's lovely to see it so readily available because I used to struggle so much to you find jewellery for her. You'd have to re go to a specialist. Yeah. Jewelry. You know, like the um, ones that just sell specialist silver pieces, yep. like a silversmith. We had one in Cheltenham called Silver Moon. And yeah. It was the only yeah. one you could get, like, big chunky rings with silver and turquoise or yeah. moonstone yeah. or amber And the thing it. is, they weren't anything, um, that sounds horrible, they weren't anything sort of, out there. They were very simple classic designs mm. and very expensive yeah, as well. Yeah. Oh gosh, you'd pay for it, but mm. I'd say they're collector's items. Mm. And I think amber absolutely is a collector's yeah. item, isn't it? It really is. I mean, these are beautiful. I mean, just imagine that just as a necklace or just as a lovely little bracelet. Yeah. Would you individualise them though? Because I think, you know, you, you sort of want to. I like very much that shape and I think you can mm. put them in the bead loom and, and almost make like a a larger hexagon out of them. So I've had um, this shaped gemstone before, but in a different gemstone. And I actually kind of locked them together mm. and made them almost a bit like, you remember, um, oh, what was it? Oh, the, the game show. Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Yeah. Literally almost like that. Yeah. So, and then I put a little wire bee on the side of it. So it literally That's was so just like a little sort of um, honeycomb with a little bee. You know, you could do something like that with this. And I would mix the tones up. So Because, mm. you, you know, when you think of honey and sort of that kind of... Oh, it's effect, all mixed tones. All mixed tones. Yeah. yeah, all different honeys from all around mm. the world. Manuka is uh, very healing, isn't it? Make a lovely ring. Mm. Yeah, well, we were saying that earlier when we had the ones that were all cognac. Yeah. You could put, again... I think this size is ideal for it's rings. Perfect. It's also great for earrings. Isn't yeah, it? lovely. Again, you can have them either just on a long head pin and have them as long drops, yeah. or you could have them as short ones. I mean, it, the earrings that you've got in now, they would be lovely as an alternative to the rounds mm. if you wanted to make a little bit more sort of um, sort of geometrical as such. You can make um, bumblebee style jewellery mm. and give some of the profits to the bumblebee charities to save the bees because that's what we're all trying to push for at the moment, isn't mm. it? When I grow up, I'm going to have I'm going to have a lavender field and keep bees. Do you know we went to the Bristol um, Christmas market yeah. on the weekend, and there was um, a little stall there, and they are beekeep beekeepers, and yeah. they, we bought some of their honey, and they made balm, like lip balm, and sort of um, out of everything, which was yeah. beautiful. And they actually had a little bit of the, some of the bees there out on some of the honeycomb. Yeah, it was lovely. And they were saying... What, did they have it behind glass? No, no, no. They just had it... It was a little stool. And then they just kind of had it on the wall. Just like a little... What, real bees? Yeah, real bees. Yeah. Were they not they were in their little honey... No, they were very sleepy, but it's just a time of year. But they were just sort of... Um, bumbling. Sort of bumbling about. Um, yeah, and it was really interesting. And we were talking to them, and they actually said, it's actually less... It's easier to keep a bee than it is to keep a dog. It's less time-consuming. I know that sounds really? crazy, but it says less time-consuming. You need to come to Bristol, come and see him. 
I'm going to just get these, I, but I want to go to, I don't want to just get them, I've got yeah, to yeah. learn about it. Yeah, first. he said that's what takes the time. Yeah. He said looking after the bees is actually really easy. You, the time is spent learning about them. What and, not to do and, and what Yeah, to do, learning yeah. how to sort of, but, you know, it's fascinating really. It fascinates me. I might just get one for this summer. You need to come down, come and see whole, him. I think I should spend the whole of winter just looking at, at Learning beekeeping. about beekeeping. Because I've got the space for a beehive. Yeah. And the kids aren't little anymore, so it's not that they go and like stick their arms. Well, we had in Jackson it. with us, and Jackson's nine, and he was like, "Yeah, you could do it." I'm gonna do it. Can Are you gonna it? do it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got five dogs, I've two got a kids. Dog, though, yeah, and I the, do not have and the space. horses. I've got five dogs. How? I've only got one dog, but I could handle five dogs if Mark didn't have the dog with me because he treats her yeah. like she's his child. I have to keep telling him off because he keeps trying to give her food, like off his plate. <laughs> He's terrible. He's a terrible dog father. <laughs> he is, and he keeps teaching her bad habits. I'm not telling her off when she's naughty. Now. <laughs> oh, Carrie, have you got a dog? Oh, Carrie doesn't tell her dog off. Was it naughty? See, my dog is very well behaved when she's with me. The minute she sees Mark, everything changes. She just acts crazy, and I'm like, stop, and she stops. But he's like, don't mind her, Maeve. She's that <laughs> nice. She's this, that, and the other, uh, which I won't repeat. And then um, he goes, come on, you can eat off my plate. Oh, and I'm like, no, no she's not allowed to take her off my no, plate. No, I don't encourage that. We don't yeah, encourage no, that. No, he doesn't care. He shares it with her. And he lets her get in the bed. And she's got a perfectly nice bed. She's supposed to sleep downstairs. And he's got her. It, when I first got that dog, he said, no dog's in the bed. Now he's the one. <laughs> he's the one. <laughs> uh, I'm glad it's that way around. Uh, hi, lovely ladies. When is the cat pendant coming up? I'm loving the show. Half past, my darling. Half past cat. It's coming up at <laughs> half past cat. Is that okay? 15, in 15 whiskers time. Half past cat. Now, you've got sterling silver, nine carat gold, jump rings. Something that if you are walking around this building, seems near impossible to find. It we is. don't have any in our room over there we're yep. trying to work with any because i was just trying to do some stuff with pearls earlier couldn't find any um i'm trying to get back into getting more of a, a flowing jewelry maker because i lost my yeah. I, I still know exactly what i'm doing it just takes longer when you haven't done it because you your haven't muscle memory while, hasn't you, gone back so. yeah and i know what i'm trying to do it's even something simple should i tell you what the thing that i'm really getting frustrated with Putting a crimp cover on a crimp bead. Really? Because I have a crimp crimping tool. I was going to say, got normal if, pliers, yeah. Ah, so if you're not crimping the bead first, then mm. yeah, it's going to be I'm tricky. I'm only flattening it. Yeah, then that's not you, that's just, you need to get the tool. Yeah, that, like, that there really isn't one is. out there, that's why. Otherwise, I would have. <laughs> WZCZ35, £10.95, buys you your seven millimeter jump rings. You've got 50 of these, and I think you need these. Well, mm. I know you need these if you're trying to make uh, a high end piece of jewelry. Are we going to do what, sorry? Rose gold ones. Again, it's going to be perfect with your amber, isn't it, color wise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're going to get any, any um, if you're going to put gold with them, yeah. Definitely. If you're going to put silver with them, get silver ones. If you're going to put rose gold with them. But you have to have a collection of all of them. Mm. You have to. Yes. And, and don't be frivolous. with like Be gentle with them. Be careful with them because you, they run out faster than you realise, don't they? Yeah, they really do. So I'm laughing. You do exactly what I do. What? <laughs> Sucker fingers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cheeky little earring findings. Can't wait to make some earrings out of them. Now, uh, where are they? All the way over here. Stretch, stretch stretch okay so again same rules apply with these they're rose gold on silver and again it i think it's the look you're going for but i mean you could mix your metals up couldn't you the rose oh, gold yeah. and the gold would be beautiful together if you wanted to do just like a um if you want to do like a mobius link which is just mm. almost like a swirl kind of effect that would look lovely mixed colors now, the gold ones we gave you at a silver price. They weren't supposed to be that price. We're going to give you the price that these are supposed to be. UNRF97 is your item code. £14.95 is your price. They're sizable as well, they aren't are. they? They are. They're, yeah. they're very luxury. They're beautiful. Mm. Really beautiful. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> she was okay. She was like me two days ago, and then it just got her. 
It just got her. <laughs> she was Romeo done this morning, bless her. I looked at my phone this morning at like seven o'clock and I had about 100 missed calls and I was like, oh, it's supposed to be at work. But it wasn't, it was like, can you come back? I live two hours away, so I never would have got her in time unless they'd have rang me at like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, now. Should I do that, that for you? It, would you mind? No. That would be amazing. Can I grab Thank the one you. off of your tweezers? Sure. Thank you. Tra la 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 la. I'm so sorry, they're still in the packet. So these are. I don't live very close, do I? But if I'd have known about last night, I'd have just stayed here the night. Because mm. incidentally, I have got one of those put up beds in the back of my car because I bought one off Facebook Marketplace. I could have just put it up. Just camp just camp out in the studio. Yeah, no, and it's not now. I took it out this morning. I bought one, you know, a proper a proper bed with the springs, but that pops up. What are they called? Like, a, not a Z bed. Oh, I know what you mean. Like, what? Almost like a camping bed. You no, know, because yeah, but it's it's got springs and a proper mattress on it. A nice one, like thick. It's for Christmas. <laughs> I know. Only I would have a pop up bed yeah. in the boot of my car, and also loads of all my Christmas chocolates because my mum loaded me up when I went and stayed at her house with all the stuff to take back, so she didn't have to. Now, <laughs> two earring, two well. You get two pendants. So it could be one for you, one for your sister. It could be earrings. Can I just... You had some earring findings there a moment ago. I know we're not doing oh, them yet. Yes, 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 yes. But you know what we're going to do. We're going to make earrings. I personally Look. think that that would be a beautiful combination. I personally think you are not wrong. All we need is silver jump rings. Oh, come on. Perfect. You're getting two of these. So they were 19 10 pounds each, weren't they? Buy one, get one free. Woohoo! I love this. I love it. Right, these. Can we do these earring findings after so you can get those or not yet? Oh, then they're meant to be coming up. It's too late to wait. It's too late to wait. If you buy these, you'll want they're these to go with them. just perfect with these, really. Fine, she said. Fine. <laughs> Sound like my son, don't you? <coughs> That's what he says. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They're coming up now to go with these. If you've got these, Edith, Yvonne, Karen, Suzanne... I think. Have you got a silver jump ring there? I or haven't, not? but I... Can we make one? Have we got any silver wire? Any silver wire with you? Um, what did no, you but bring let's... with you? Um, I just bought my tools. Oh, that's no Come good. Here. We need some findings. You can't do it with that. Oh. It doesn't look as good. Right. I can't be doing with inconsistency. Okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Goodness me. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, she's got jump rings in there, look. She just didn't want to do it. Right, we're going <laughs> to... I just didn't know if I had them. I do have them. Oh. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to get away with that. I'll do it. I don't mind doing it. I don't it. mind doing it. It's sure? fine. Because I quite enjoy doing it. <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine. Right. <laughs> the earrings then. That's all I ever get. Fine. We see a pattern here, don't we? Yeah, my son does it to me. I see I, see I antagonise people. Instead of going, fine, have it your own way. Right. I'm going to steal one of these then. Thank you so and much. Give me a, an I mean, let's thingy. make a pair. <laughs> I need the other part in a moment. Okay, darling. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> ZNGY38, brand spanking new and utterly gorgeous. They're beautiful, aren't They're they? They're gorgeous. I love a bit of amber. Look at that colour. They're stunning. And the thing is, because they're still are they still in yeah they're still in silver i mean they're great like they've got that little loop for you to be able to make a drop earring but if you just wanted to just gently cut that loop off and file it because it's still in silver you could and you could mm -hmm. have beautiful little stud earrings oh you could couldn't you yeah or you could even maybe roll the back over and make it into a little bale 
Oh, yeah, it could be a little... Do you want this, darling I angel? I do, please. Well, I have a pair. Yeah, there you are. Thank you. I lost a nail, so I don't want to put it too <laughs> Sorry, much Sorry, I broke one, so we're both as bad as each other. <laughs> Changing batteries in oh, a remote control. Oh, that'll always get you that yeah. one. Use a knife. I mean, Ping. you're not supposed to use a knife if you get an electric stuff. <laughs> uh, don't take any advice from me when it comes to electricity or knives. <laughs> Let's give you a wonderful, crazy low price tag at $9.95. So you can make a full, you can make these earrings for £20. What would you sell them for? Wow, so those. Do you remember I said earlier, didn't I, about how... Do you want me to... Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. You want me to... I insist. Yes, I said that without moving my lips. Put them in, Jenny. Put them in. Do you like these ones that I made? <laughs> They're very good, actually. Are they? Would you put those there? Would you? Yeah. They're really quite pretty. pleased with them. That's really pretty. I'll keep them here, of course. Mm. So of people course. can reference them at all of times. Of course you will. I will. <laughs> I keep them here in my dressing room. <laughs> That's also everybody else's dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm not used to that. Look, look, how cool are these? There you go. So basically, for £20, you've got a pair of double amber sterling silver earrings. The only thing is, I would obviously put a sterling silver jump ring in. Um, there you go. Might as well have the matching pair. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It'd be rude not to. Here, I will swap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> There's a lot of fines going on. In a minute, we'll hear a slamming door. You haven't got... Is, no, Kayla is a teenager, isn't she? No, she's... Well, she's 11, but I'm telling you, she is like a teenager. Oh, you wait. Oh, I can. I can. Do you know what I have to do? I have to take the door off the hinges. Slam that door one more time. There's no point in shouting. Slam that door one more time. I'm going to take it off the hinges. Kayla just Bang. huffing. She's, she's like... Take it off the hinges. Oh, every time I ask her to do anything. Oh, we call that huffing and puffing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Stop huffing and puffing. I, and Max used to go, Mummy, because he was littler. Mia's huffing and puffing. That's what Jackson <laughs> does. Up, right? They love Mia's huffing and puffing, mummy. Yeah. Like, stop grassing her up and you stop huffing and puffing. <laughs> Mum, Kayla's on her phone. Mum, yeah, Kayla like, goes on the Wi Fi now and she's doing, even if you block it. Mum, I'm telling Mum. And then you go, stop being a grass. You <laughs> stop grassing. I'm telling you. Yeah. 9 95 is your price for that. Oh, you didn't? Let's have a look. Have another look. What we made, what we made, what we made. They're really, I would love those. I would happily wear them. Do you want to wear them? No, you can have them. Have you got them. earrings in? I have. No, I'm fine. <laughs> you can wear them. No, you wear them. Are you You're scared of my enough. ears? They are clean. No, it's fine. <laughs> are you sure? Because I did shower and that. No. I give them a good going over. <laughs> yeah, I always scrub my ears. <laughs> now I use a flannel. Scrub them with a flannel. Because I usually put quite a lot of bronzer on them. Because if you saw me in real life, I'm quite luminous. I'm like Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> quite luminous. Other ghosts are available. I really badly need a spray tan. Look at <clears throat> How pale I am next to you. Anyway, it's not about me. It's about you and you <laughs> getting the incredible cap. Right, you're going to have to be quick. We've had so many messages say, asking when this pendant's coming up. Yeah. I think anybody who's crafty, pretty much, I'd say nine out of ten crafty type of people are obsessed with cats. Do you know, it's funny. I, I, I said this the other day, actually. Um, when I was younger and I used to sort of, if I'd go anywhere, um, I'd always bring a sort of, um, like if I went away with my dad or anything, I used to always bring something cat-related back to my for my mum because she loved cats. And my mum got this massive box of cat ornaments Aww. and everything. So, again, this is, it's, it, everyone can link it to something, can't they? Or Definitely, They'll know yeah. that one person that would love that this. That is obsessed with yeah. cats. I'm obsessed with my cat because she's crazy and I have to keep her on my toes. Anyway, it's star by. <laughs> So we know that cats are super clever, right? I'm gonna tell you my cat story. So my cat was, we'll just set the scene for the cat, right? My cat is half Bengal, half yard cat. And one day we went to the farm um, and she was just there as a kitten in a stable with the horse. Not, you know, normally <laughs> a you horse would have just trampled it. So obviously the feral cat had kittens and just thought, ah, I'll just put this here, leave it for the humans. And she was like, so cute but also completely feral. Uh, <laughs> took her home, completely feral, right? She um, didn't really want to come near humans. She would always stay up high and just watch you. She'd just watch, come down, quickly eat, go back up again. Mm. She, she got more friendly and more friendly and more friendly. Anyway, one day, 
I was, right, I, I had a house, so we moved house with the cat, we took the cat with us. My house was like, my bedroom was on the top floor, but it was just my room on the top floor. Like there was, it was three stories, but just my bedroom on the top. So she was on top of the roof all the time and my window was open all the time and all of this. Anyway, I went to sleep and I sleep like this because apparently if you sleep on your back, you get less wrinkles. So I've learned, developed a system because the silk pillow thing didn't work to hold my hands like this, that way. If I go to, it's like a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I keep my hands together. Anyway, I woke up one day, opened my eyes, thought something's not right. And I looked down and I went, <laughs> just where my body was, because I don't really move in my sleep. Just where my body was, I was covered from here to here in moss, covered. And I was like, <gasps> like, you know, when you're like, something bad's happened. <laughs> and I looked and I was like, am I still dreaming? Oh my God. And then I heard this, my cat makes this noise. <laughs> like that, right? It's a weird noise. And she came in, she had moss in her mouth and she was in the window. She came in, moss in her mouth, jumped onto my bed, put the moss down and looked at me and went, <laughs> like, oh, I spent all night burying you and you're flipping only alive. She looked at me like she was almost annoyed. Well, that like, was a waste of my time. Brilliant. Do you know how long that took me? All night. I've been eight hours up and down that roof. Moss. From the yeah. roof. Oh, that's... Because I just was as fast asleep. And she's very oh. delicate on her toes. <laughs> I've never what heard a, cat a weird that thing to do. She was burying me. I'm, sh I'm convinced of it. I'm sure of it. Has she ever done it again? No, never. She probably shouldn't waste she your time. I'm not going to waste my time. No, doing she does that again. do weird things though. She's a, she's very funny with me. Like mm. she's a funny cat with me. <laughs> so if you love cats, because let's face it, cats have a lot of mysterious qualities. They, they do. do. Yeah, they do. They know things. Cats know stuff. Mm. They know stuff before humans know it, and I don't know how, but they do. And they're not taking any prisoners. Your Baltic Cognac Amber Cat Pendant. If you are a cat lover like me, you're already putting this in your basket. You've got a beautiful body of amber. You've got one, two, three little stars, and you've got your moon there. And the cat sat on the moon. This is lovely. That could be the cat looking out of the window, looking at the moss on the next door's house, thinking... <laughs> Now you could, see where the tail curls? See where the tail curls here? You could use Definitely. that. Definitely, it's like a little connector, isn't it? To dangle a little drop, bead like the on, or earring. Drop. Yeah. yeah. If you had like um, one of those, one of these, It'd be maybe. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, you absolutely could do that, couldn't you? We've got other drops. Uh, that yeah, maybe like a little really sort of well. pear drop or something mm. like that. Or even a little star. Have we got any like little amber stars? Well, it's funny you should say that, Laura, my darling. We've actually got star head pit. Oh, no, they're oh, leaves. Oh, no, they're leaves. So that would be cute. Stars are on tomorrow mid-show. Oh, there you go. I mean, that would be sweet as well, wouldn't it? You could do a little maple leaf. QYG Y41, your Baltic Cognac Amber Sterling Silver Cap. You're not getting the chain, just the charm, but you've got to get it fast. Uh, but I think you either utilise that tail or don't. It doesn't matter either way. I think it no, would look it's gorgeous pretty. anyway. But you could run wire this way, run wire that way, and that could mm -hmm. actually be part of a, a bracelet. Yeah, couldn't yeah, it? you could. That would be really pretty, actually. Yeah. So if you took that chain, lift your hand up. Lift your... Oh, sorry, darling. That's right. So like that. Oh, and just collect it in, yeah. yeah? Fetch it in. Yeah, so you'd have like a, a bracelet like that. That would look pretty. There we go. Yeah. Gorgeous. Fourteen ninety five mm. is your price. Well done. To, oh, we can't see your names have disappeared. Uh, well done to you. If you have got this, I'll be reading your names out. Karen, uh, we've got a jewellery maker in Essex. Shona's got two. Uh, Alison's got two. Hazel, Helen and Kat. Kat's bought the cat. Brenda, Veronica. Elizabeth in Yorkshire. Sally and Angus. Uh, we've got Elizabeth in Lanarkshire as well. Uh, Dorset, you're there? 
you got to check out Baskets. You were waiting for this one, Elizabeth. I'm definitely miss it myself. Have we seen this before? Is it brand spanking new? Once in May and it sold out. Sorry, I just had to have a sip of my throat drink. The sip of lem. Um, oh, those are, those are uh, maple leaves as well. Yeah, little stars would be gorgeous coming off yeah, this. Yeah, but I mean, if we've got stars coming up tomorrow, you can get the pendant now. And if you did want to add you. the stars to it, you can, can't you? You could put these little twinkles on. We yeah, had those earlier. that's pretty. They're gorgeous. Right, we're going to press on. Oopsie doozy. Oopsie doozy. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to make a stretch out of these oh, I love double drilled. Yeah, that is that to me is an instant bracelet, isn't it? Feel them. They're beautiful. Oh, Look wow. at the depth. They've got really deep red ones. They're stunning. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's a beautiful strand. I love this shape. It's one of my favourite cuts. Yeah, me too. A marquee shape's mm. gorgeous, isn't it? And to have a double drill gives you more opportunity, doesn't it? Yeah, in your definitely. Design. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to use both those um, drill holes, but to have them, you can see how it actually lets it sit perfectly. It really stabilises mm. it, doesn't it? I love that deep, deep, deep rouge noir amber. You have to really let the light go through it to yeah, that flash of red, and it's insane. I love it. Yeah. When you hit your hand on the angle then, you can really get that glow of red. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. You could put little amber rounds in between it. Would you make a stretchy out of this? Or would you rather secure it a bit more firmly? Because it is very light. Mm. I do think I do think elastic would suffice, but I think maybe in our minds, <clears throat> I think I think elastic would be fine. Is I'm it, just is thinking it just I, you'd want to put silver with it because it's amber. Do you know no, what I, mean? I just I think it's such a beautiful strand that in my head I'm thinking it's beautiful as a bracelet. But then I also want to see, think I'd love to make a ring out of it. I'd love to make maybe have three of them as a bracelet. Yeah. So do you know what I mean? It's You're one right. of those where yeah, my brain's going. Right. It's lovely. It's perfect as it is. But also I could do so much with it as well. It's it's a beautiful strand. You can sterling shape. silver wire through yeah, it yeah definitely you? yeah and that would be such an easy ring to create let's have a look what it looks like on the finger because if you look it's a it's the perfect size yeah i mean you might want to bezel set it yeah what do you think or would you let leave it like this leave it alone and then put the silver around like that to and then make a nice gallery yeah, yeah it's like one of those shoulders. where i'd want to sort of sit and have a look it's one of those i quite like the idea of, you, you could just set it like that what you could almost do is take two pieces of wire through it and almost channel set just like do some weaving maybe channel set some yeah, you know there's a lot yeah. and you could do the same with a bracelet um and you could have three different colors i love the fact that it's multicolored as well um and going back to what we were saying earlier about trying to find amber and in sort of a high street shop um to find multicolored amber pieces, not of that size, would be. I don't be... think I've ever seen it, Laura. Do you know that? I think people have mm. amber and they have this shade, and that's yeah. sort of. That's your more classic, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you were able to get the multicolored, like three different piece of colors, the price would be right up there, and you're sixty pound plus for just like a little mm. pendant with a couple of little pieces in. Um, so to have multicolored there, I think, is incredible. I think it we is, get a bit complacent. It? I think we get a bit complacent with I'd that. Say. We forget about the fact that because we see it here, we forget if you went and looked for it elsewhere. It would be very difficult to yeah. find. And I tell you something: one piece at the nine ninety five yeah. is a good price. Yeah. But to get all of, I'm going to count them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen on my strand stuff there or thereabouts. That's amazing. Yeah, that really is. I mean, that's either thirteen pieces of. <coughs> 13 pieces of jewellery, or you can put mm. three together, have some earrings, you've mm. got matching potential there. I just think it's a beautiful strand. Me too. It's a great opportunity. Beautiful strand. Now we're gonna keep going. Stop, look at, the, is this on stirring silver tubes? That's lovely. That's beautiful. I'd just put it in a necklace like mm. that, Laura, would you? Yeah, restrand it. Maybe if you got the flex right with the stolen silver flex right, yeah. that would be perfect. Put a lovely it? silver clasp on the back. Yep. Oh, these are gorgeous. So you've got sterling, it's definitely sterling in tubes in between, is it? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I love it. Is that new? 
I think that is such a great design like that, do you? Yeah, I mean, the, the work's been done for Love you, it. hasn't it, straight away. Um, again, it's something that you can have a ready-made piece of jewellery, effectively, or you can, you know, take it apart, maybe make it into your own sort of design. I also quite like the idea of maybe having them spaced out with lengths of chain and having, like, a yeah. longer-style necklace mm. because they're ideal for something like that, aren't they? Yeah. I think you could um, take some of these amber pieces out, put them in earrings, and oh, maybe yeah. replace them with a pearl or something like that. Well, if you look or a there, black spinel. if you took just one of those, just like that, and let's see if we can separate it there, that would be a lovely earring, wouldn't it? Just, just on its own, just yeah. Just like that. Yeah. That, just pop a head pin through that. Yeah, you could do that. And that would you? be a pair then of earrings. Then have a choker style instead, or put it on a chain. Yeah, just get a bit of sterling silver chain as an extender. Mm. £49.95 for your Baltic cognac, cognac Amber. But we're not staying there. We're going to take a slice off for you. In fact, we're going to give you £10 back. So don't delay and grab yours wow. fast. OXG Y58. £39.95 is your price. Go, go, go. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. And I think what you can do in these situations is collect all the amber you like the look of. Mm. Keep the bits, sorry, I've got hiccups. Keep the bit that you want, keep the pieces that you want, send back the pieces that you don't. To be, I know the risk there is that you're going to fall in love Yeah, with you're going to want all of it, it aren't you? Because yeah. I just think, if you look at that, it's beautiful. You've got, I mean, that to me is classic amber. Mm. That to me is, like you said earlier, that is what you would classically see. Definitely. It's beautiful. Now. Hmm. I haven't got anything in there. What's it supposed to? I've got the marquee. Was it these? Shaped. Was it these ones? No. They, oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because <laughs> you took them out, didn't you? I did. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Here in the next one along. Now, sorry, I apologise. So we had a similar strand earlier, but all in one colour again. I think these look like crosses. They do a little bit, don't they? Or like little clubs, like the little club sign. Yeah, I'd say these were crosses rather than them um, flowers. You know. And I'd say you could put them in little cross pendants. Mm, definitely. I actually really like them like that. They have a really lovely sort of texture to them. There's a cross stitch pattern like yeah. this. Yeah. And like real classic yeah. cross stitch pattern. There's also a quilt pattern like it. So it's quite a, it's quite a symbolic shape. Mm. I can't remember what it signifies. Like it might be a cross. It might be something religious or it might be something like a something like a Tudor sign or something. Yeah. No, oh, well, I think it's really sweet. I mean, like you say, I do think it lends more towards a cross sign as opposed to... To a flower. Um, to a flower. Yeah, but... if it was a flower, I'd expect five petals, maybe. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm being pernickety. I, I love them, though. I think they're really classic. Yeah, yeah, they're really pretty. And like you say, imagine a little bracelet like yeah. that. That would be really sweet. Well, these could be charms, couldn't they? Yeah. They could also go in earrings. Well, it'd be nice sort of in between for a pair of earrings. So maybe if you had those almost like the connector mm. and then had a drop. Um, you've got, these are coming up a bit later mm -hmm. on, aren't they? So mm -hmm. these would be lovely as your sort of... Your little Canadian, Canadian leaves. Yeah, as your little drop. Should be 32 95 but today, we're going to give them to you for eighteen ninety-five. I'd be very quick on this one. Please mm. excuse me, I'm going to cough. Now, we've only got a limited amount of these ones. How many did you say we had? Sorry, darling. 42. We've only got 42. Uh, buckle my shoe. CSG. What does that even mean, buckle my shoe? Oh, I suppose you'd take it to someone who's a buckler and get them to put a buckle on your shoe. Because uh, buckle me shoe is a thing, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I'm not even going to attempt to Hang say I minute. do. <laughs> uh, 1895. It's funny what. Were well, you that kid that just asked why for everything? You have to. <laughs> that you have to like, know why? everything. Why? You have to know everything. Why? Knowledge is power. <laughs> and then you mix it all up in a big ball, and, and you, then you put your you, interpretation onto it. Yeah, and you get the wrong <laughs> idea all together. Uh, I'm good in a pub quiz because I know some random facts I'm that nobody like needs that. to know. <laughs> <laughs> do you do that, jewelry makers? Uh, these are gorgeous. Make sure that you, that you get them. I love the lemon as well. But this could go in an amber teething necklace. Yeah. Yeah. My little um, friend's girl has... My friend's little girl, Zoe's um, little girl, her name's Bea. Baby Bea. Uh, she wears her. Um, but her kids, she's got Bea, 
Benji and Brody, and Brody still wears his, and he's five. They sometimes put, um, do little anklets as well, don't they? Because babies obviously can't yeah. reach she's to their ankles. She's all right with it around her neck. Because I yeah. just say, are they all right? And she's like, oh, yeah, everyone does it. And I was like, okay. Yeah, they are, they are, they are sort of known to help. Thieving, yeah. Mm. Mm. It's funny, isn't it? Oh, you can make yourself some now. Oh. They're gorgeous. <laughs> They're like little hearts, aren't they? Aren't these lovely? Those are cute. Oh, you get two of them. And again, those would be, again, cute with, as I said, there's a drop with the little flowers above them. Oh, I think these are lovely. And again, what a gorgeous Christmas present for somebody. And all you've got to do is put sterling silver ear finding mm -hmm. earrings on them. Oh, I love those. They're pretty, yeah. They're really sweet. Again, like you say, earrings or maybe a his and her charm. Mm. Um, maybe um, for best friends, mm. if you wanted to give Definitely. a gift. Definitely. It's a gemstone. Let's look, let's look at the, because um, you know I'm into all of this kind of thing, but not everybody is. Um, it's said to clear up depression, stimulate the intellect and promote self-confidence. So that's a nice one to give to someone who's yeah. feeling a bit low, isn't yeah. it? Um, that's only if you believe in it, by the way. I'm not a doctor. Yeah, it's everybody's personal. Yeah. Do you believe in that kind of thing? Or I, are you more... I do. No, I, I do sort of believe in the gemstones, but I think it's like you say, is everyone's If it's not your cup of tea, it's it. not your cup of tea. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I don't like beer, but I appreciate that people like it. <laughs> you know, a lot of people say, oh, a nice beer on a, cold, and on a hot day. And I think... <laughs> You know, it's just that everybody's got different tastes and different beliefs, haven't they? I know that's a very weird comparison. My daughter always says I have the weirdest... She always says to me, this is not the time for one of your weird comparisons. Because I'll be like, Mia, it's OK if it's like this. And she's like, this isn't the time for one of your weird comparisons. <laughs> no, that's not the time, ma'am. Yeah, she always says that to me. You always have to make the weirdest comparisons. Nothing to do with it. And it hasn't. Uh, but, you know... Wow. You're gonna you're gonna want these quick yeah, they go definitely. down to it. Can we show them on the overhead? They're really, really sweet. Going better than half price at eleven ninety five. See, like you say, beautiful pair of earrings. Yeah. Even just as a little charm on a charm bracelet. Definitely. Like I've got a little charm bracelet that I wear all the time and they would it would be a lovely I've got a little bit of amber. Oh, and yeah. stuff. I've got the little... It's um, a lovely charm bracelet. Did you make that? Yeah, there's just one that I sort of Which collected is. along the way. And again, I've got a little amber heart, um, a little amber sort of thing. And so this would be perfect to add to this bracelet. <laughs> because it was your mum's It was my mum's favourite gemstone. gemstone. It's a great one for your yeah. amber heart. Yeah. Maybe you ought to make a little charm to put on your charm bracelet. Yeah. Uh, 1195 LVX C60 is your item code. How would you make a charm? Would you just put it on a lobster a claw clasp or well, would you put it on a... I tend to just put them directly on with jump oh, rings, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can obviously sort of solder them further down if you mm. use in sterling mm. silver. Um, you can put lobster clasps. I personally don't, preferably don't like them because I find it adds a bit too much length. So I don't like them oh, having you're that. Right, a little dangle. Yeah, too I find much dangle for, for me you. it's a little bit too long. I like them to be a little bit more compact. Yeah. But um, no, I definitely would put one of these on. There you go then. Uh, maybe you should. Yeah, <laughs> maybe you should then. Uh, so let's give you now. Oh dear me. I'm ever so um. <gasps> Green amber. Oh, this is one of my favourites. Green amber is one of my favourites. I love. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Oh, this is it's one of the connectors. connectors. Yeah, but it's not just a connector, you know. Because you don't get one, you get three. Mm. Oh, temptations to buy two and put this in an earring, jewellery makers. I can hear you shouting at me to hurry up and show it. Can you... Oh, hang on, I've only got, got it the wrong way. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. There we go. Would you buy two and make earrings out of that? Because I think that's gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's <gasps> beautiful. That might be my favourite thing we've shown so far. Green amber. So green amber is rarer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Does anyone know why green amber is rarer? I don't know why. I'd love to know why. I'll look it up. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Why is... Green... I'll tell you, Becky would know. She'd know, wouldn't she? Let's have a look. Green and blue colours are also distinguished. However, they tend to be very rare. There are two main factors which are known to influence amber's colour. One of these factors is bubble inclusions that are found in natural resin. Um, the rarest colour of amber bu, 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 is, is blue amber, actually. But I'd say some of these are a, a bit going sort of... 
You've got Blue Amber tomorrow mid show. Is that the um We'll have to have, yeah, let's have a look, yeah. Okay, Laura just talking to our producer there. What were you saying? She's going to, uh, Becky's going to bring us out the Blue Amber. That's going to be on tomorrow's mid-show. Are you on tomorrow's mid-show? Um, no, I'm on the morning. Oh, late to early. Fair play to you, girl. So you've got Green Amber here. Um, so Green Amber gets its hue from spending time in a, in a marshy environment. Um, and it's the organic matter. Um, in the case of Baltic green amber, jewelers, um, jewelers will heat the surface with oxygen. So there you go. So there is a process into... Mm. Look at that. It's one of my favourite colours of amber. Love but then it. I love the green tones anyway. So for me, I just think this is... And it's a beautiful tone of green, isn't it? It really is um, I think there's gorgeous. something a bit magic about that. Yeah. £12.95 and 95 pence. Make sure you're grabbing yours fast, is all I can say to you. Next up. These are so cute. Sorry, only dogs and cats can hear me. Um, oh, I love these. They're buttons. Have I've, worked, I've worked with these before, yeah. I'd like to knit a little cardigan <laughs> and make a little baby's cardigan and have amber buttons. See, that would be perfect for teething oh, babies, wouldn't perfect. it? perfect. Oh, I think these are so cute. Maybe one day I'll be blessed with grandchildren and I can make knit for them. I better learn to knit first. Um, <laughs> aren't these wonderful? Aren't they? Brilliant. They're really pretty. Who, listen, how how bespoke is it to have an amber button on anything? It's no, so bespoke. It really is. And again, like you say, if you have got younger children and they are teething, it's ideal because mm. you're, you can stitch it into their clothing, which mm. makes it even um, more sort of, secure. Yeah. Uh, I think that these would be super cute on the back of a wedding dress as well. Yeah, yeah, really sweet. I mean, I've done, I, like I said, I worked with them. I had them in a few different, I think I had them in these and in the multicoloured version as well. And I mm -hmm. actually kind of put it into a floral kind of wire at necklace because mm. they're really easy because they've got the four drill holes, yeah. like a classic button. You're able to kind of put your wire through and almost form a little cross so you can literally have like little button um, detail. I think yeah. they're lovely. Twelve ninety five. My mm. granny would have loved knitting with these back in the day. Yeah, she knitted all my children their little cardigans. Mm. Well, both of my children. It's not like I've got loads. <laughs> all of my children. All, all, all of, of my two children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are gorgeous. CJG Y ninety six. Your Baltic cognac amber flower buttons. So specific that these would be so difficult to source. Yeah. If you were looking specifically for amber buttons and you went out there and you tried to find them, I think you'd pay about 30, 40 pounds for Again, them. it's not something that you readily see, is no. it? And to have them here and to have like a pack of five, you're able to, like say, put them into jewelry, put mm. them into your clothing if you wanted to. Maybe imagine if you had like a hat yeah. and you wanted to put that little button detail onto it, that would be really sweet. It would, wouldn't it? I think they're beautiful. Well done to everybody that's got theirs. Let me see. Wait there. I've, this blackboard is quite far away, so let's just... Oh. oh, now. Look what's coming up for you. And guess what? It's going under £6. Oh, that's... Oh, oh that's... It's going under £5. Don't go anywhere. You've got to be in for that. Look, it's got... That's going to match your earrings. So you've got two sort of veil options with that, haven't mm. you? Why has it got that on the back so it sits nicely? So it goes on to the chain. Well, look at that. I'll tell you in the break. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. We've got some amazing things to show you. We've got like a galaxy pendant, a big heart pendant. We've got flowers. We've got loads more silver. We've got one that would be incredible in a ring. We've got big, we've got small. We've got them all coming up for you. Oh, we've got a key as well. We've got more strands. I'm sure Laura will be doing us some demonstrations too. So make sure you tune in after this.
Now I'm very excited to tell you that this weekend on Jewelry Maker it is all about our beloved Baltic Amber. Now I'm very excited because I will be with you this weekend on both Saturday morning live from 8am and Sunday morning live from 8am. I cannot wait. Now then, let's get started. The deal of the day on Saturday is a free form amber slice. We also have Christmas Pendant Collection, which includes a beautiful robin, a poinsettia, teddy bears, and a phenomenal stag, which you are not going to want to miss. We also have brand new amber toggle clasps in cognac, in cherry, and in a beautiful lemon tone. Now then, when we come to Sunday, our deal of the day is a cognac amber ball with sterling silver filigree locket. We also have brand new colours of amber in earthy tones, butterscotch and the most stunning off-white in pendants and connectors. So make sure you join myself this Saturday morning with the amazing Linda Bromwell and on Sunday from 8am with the lovely Laura Binding. Join us this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the gem setting day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian nuggets. As well as that, we're going to be bringing to you the deluxe gem setting toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you yellow sapphire, aquamarine, pink amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also gonna be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. We got an amazing pendant bail for you. Well, it can be a pendant bail or it can be a pendant in its own mm. right, can't it, Laura? So I'm going to show you how this is, and then Laura's going to show us how we actually change it. This star buy will sell out fast. It's going under five pounds. Uh, now, we don't have enough of these. We've only got 150, and we've literally got thousands of you shopping with us. I want to show you how this has two options to it. So either you could add a jump ring here and you could turn it upside down and have it hanging and then mm. you've got your pendant and it's done and it's yeah. finished, as you can see there. But if I turn this around to the side, you can see actually it's got a pen, it's got a bail to it so that you can run something through it if you wanted to. Um, so if you wanted to do that, now all we need to do is weigh that down by adding something else. So we're going to hand this over to Laura. And what have you got there, Laura? Well, do you want to use did... one of these? I've got a few Why don't you show me a brand options. new one? That 
Becky just showed me actually that one that she um, said was brand new. Which was one of these, wasn't it? Yeah, it was this one. Oh okay. yeah, it was one of these. In fact, can I go for the slightly bigger one just because sure. I think balance wise? Sure thing. So, what you could do, hang on, my row two. So again, I've just got a jump ring here. It is just a silver plated one. And then just going to connect it same way. It's these kind of elements that make <clears throat> professional looking jewelry, you know? Yeah, all I'm doing is you can see how the jump rings open sort of to, to the side. Taking two pairs of pliers and I'm just going to close that. So fingers crossed when we do that. Oh, well, if I put it on the wrong way. Nope, there you go. So it would go like that. That was lovely. But what you could do, because basically what's happened is because of the way the jump rings are, what you might have to do is put another one in. So sometimes that happens. That's actually because of the jump ring. So okay. it just means that that probably wouldn't be the... a smaller jump ring then? Um, no, no, no. It's because of, if you look at the direction of them, both of these mm. are front facing. Yeah. So the jump ring... Oh, needs to be the other way around. Needs to be the other way around. That's okay. the reason it's facing the way it is. So you can see. So you'd have to maybe pop another jump ring in if you wanted to. Um, okay. I'll tell you what. What, well, have two jump rings in there? Possibly. I tell you what, give me a second. She's, she's on it. She's on it. Because this is a pendant in itself anyway, because it's got that sort of chain there. So mm -hmm. let's try this fella, because this one is facing a different direction. There we go. That's facing the same direction as that pendant is, isn't it? So this should work better. Just chose the wrong one. It got greedy because it was a bigger pendant. Yeah, so that will hang better now. Perfect. That's it's how it's. Done. So actually, it was quite good that I did Let's that because it, the, it showed. It showed the fact that if you didn't have and, and why that would happen. Yeah. Because that and that's all to do with um, the way that the um, the loops are. So because the loop on the pendant and the bail are facing the same way, the jump ring is in the opposite direction. It's making it go in the right direction. So you're guessing this connector or individual pendant, it could go mm. up the other way as well and be a teardrop pendant in its own right. You're getting this element and it's going under five mm. pounds. At 4 .95, please be quick. Uh, oh, your names aren't coming through. My system's gone funny. Uh, lots of you multi-buying. Collector in West Midlands, four for you. County Durham, two for you. Cheshire, two for you. Liz in Kent, two for you. Edith, you've got yours. Dawn in Cheshire, you've got yours. You've got to check out. This is an incredible price for a fabulous finding, and it's all in sterling silver. Bezel set, Karen in Essex, you've got yours. And you've got that fabulous amount of silver in there mm. as well. It also means you could put a slightly um, larger or thicker chain for it as well. Mm -hmm. So if you had like a, a flat snake chain or something like mm. that, that's going to lay perfectly through there. It gives you a bit more um, opportunity with what chain you choose, which is what we were saying earlier about that balance. Yeah. And you need that balance, don't you? You've mm -hmm. got it there. Isn't it fabulous? That's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, and it makes a big difference to the jewellery, doesn't it? Really it really does. It just gives a completely different... It gives a lovely finish to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely it does. Well done to you, um, loads of you. Michelle, make sure you check out baskets. Liz in Kent, you've got two. Michelle in Nottinghamshire, you've got two. Uh, Dawn, Essex, you need to check out your baskets, otherwise you're going to miss out on this one. 0800 644 655 if you're dialing. Jewelrymaker.com if you're doing it online. April in five, check out your baskets. Do make sure you're super, super quick. Uh, we don't have loads left of these now. Remember, we only had a set. What did we only had a hundred and something, didn't we? That's all we had. Uh, and loads of you here. Lynn, you're there. Gloucestershire, you're there. Fife, West Midlands again. Loads of you. Absolutely loads of you. I think everybody bar, gosh, most of you have, have multi bought fours and twos. Well, it's, and vibes. <laughs> it's sets, really, isn't it? You're going to be able to make sweets of jewellery. Yeah. You can make earrings. You can make, like you say, you can make a pendant. If you did buy the um, earring findings as well that you're gracefully modelling. Um, Don't know what you mean. It'd be a beautiful set, wouldn't it? Yes. You could use these together, though, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. It'd be beautiful. So you've got your earrings there. That does really go with that pendant as yeah. well. You're right, actually, because this was the earring finding. It's had a post and butterfly back. 
That's the matching pendant yeah. rail to it. And again, yeah. I mean, they were, and the earring, well, the pendants that you've got attached, they were mm. 9 95 or mm. something left there long. Um, we've got these little heart ones. That would be a lovely um, alternative if you wanted to make something similar matching wise. Perfect. That would look really pretty. Perfect. So, and yeah. gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, we've got some strands to go with for you. So, I wonder how much baby teething necklaces are. They're have expensive. A look? Let's look. Because I wonder where my friend Zoe gets hers from. I know she said they're expensive. Necklace. Baby teething necklace. Amber, I'll put... Oh, gosh, there's things that aren't even amber on here. Amber. £89.90. £195. So we've got these strands coming up at half past for you. They're gorgeous. Gosh, is that how much you can charge for a baby mm. teething necklace? Unbelievable, isn't it? Hmm. Now, we have got, yes, there's like an orbit charm, isn't there? A biggie and a little, a biggie. Yes, we've got a teeny one and then a biggie one. These are fun, aren't they? This is the biggie one. This looks a little bit like um, Vivian who lives in the west of the woods. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Do you know what I mean? I do, yes. I love that. That's really cool. Isn't it's really cool. Lovely? Yeah. So you've got, you can see it's like a saucer around. Oh, I love that. Someone's going travelling around the world. It looks like a globe. Yeah, I love it. Mm, that on a long star necklace. It has to be on a long chain, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, most definitely. I think so. And what about those long pearl chains? We had some the other mm. day when we were on with Sheila and they were amazing. Yeah, most We've definitely. We've only got 30 odd of these left. 32. 32. Oh, I was about to drop the pad eye. Oh, stay where you are. I won't do that. I <laughs> well, I can't promise anything. Um, <laughs> wouldn't be the first time. My son was wearing roller skates with my iPad filming himself. And he fell over and smashed my iPad. Oh, well, words had. Well, it was a brand new one. And <laughs> then I came home from work and the mum who is with us, like, he's really upset, he smashed your iPad. So I watched the video and it's him skating along there. <laughs> and then, oh, no! <laughs> So that made up for it. I just had to pretend I was cross. It was very funny. <laughs> now this should be twenty nine pounds and ninety five pence, but we're going down to sixteen ninety five. That's a big piece of amber there. A really big, and a lot of silver actually. Yeah, a load of silver. Nine two five stamp is apparent there. You've got the loop, and then you've got the flat silver ball. Is it a flat ball? Yeah. If you had that on a long sterling silver chain, I mean, you would be looking at triple figures for that in a shop. Gosh, yes, you would. Definitely. I mean, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. 1695 KWG Y24. Let's give you the teeny one. Right, hang on a sec. I think this is very cute, but I think... It would be a charm on a bracelet. What do you think? What do you reckon? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, I love really the cute. way the silver swirls around yeah. this. Definitely. That's really sweet. Or at the end of some um, stone and silver earrings. Like, again, a bit like what you've got here, but with um, it's just like a length of chain. That would be really pretty. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, we don't, we've only got 11. We've only got 11. I'm afraid there's not enough uh, for everybody. Only a few of you are going to get this at 7 95 These would be really lovely in earrings, mm. one in each ear, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think so. Just on a length of chain, I think that would be perfect. Yeah, me too. £7.95. So you're working with the head pins that are coming I'm just up. basically, this was left in front of me, so sorry, I've just made a decision. Have a little play, girl. <laughs> Why not? Happens. Why wouldn't you? £7.95 HDGY39. That's gone. I should have a heart charm, should I? With um, with a round in the middle or a whole heart? With a round in the middle. Lots of silver. See, this could be one that you put in a ring, actually. It's 
That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, lovely, isn't it? I would just pop that straight onto a chain. You yeah, know, you don't have to mess about. Maybe again with that bail, that would look really pretty yeah, with that bail. Yeah, because you'll have the drop down. Yeah. It's sizable, isn't it? I'm just going to turn it around for you so you can see, because I think a lot of people like to see That's very how sizable. much silver. There's, even if it flips over, it's decorative. Beautiful Baltic cognac amber. This heart-shaped sterling silver pendant is 17 by 17 millimetres. I'm ready to be popped on a chain. 19.95 is not your price because we're going down. Because <laughs> that's the way we're rolling today. <laughs> Ooh, that looks great. Just playing about, see what happens. Twelve pounds and ninety-five pence. LPG Y eighteen. Again, I invite you to make sure you are checking out baskets very fast for that one. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, do I win? Oh, oh, what, what now? I have a flower connect, two loop flower connector. This is good for a ring as well, Laws. A two loop connector. Oh, okay, yeah, I can show how to do a ring with that. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> That's what I was trying to find something like that, yeah. I can show okay, how to make a so ring. Okay, so we've got that. a two loop connector, and Laura's going to show us. How, do we have many of these? How to make a ring out of this? Gorgeous, isn't it? Could go in a bracelet. Oh, that'd look nice too, wouldn't it? So I'm going to pass this over to Laws. Oh, who's so going to show us? Stop playing with the head pins then. How to make Oops. Okay. a ring. <coughs> really simple. So if you had your sterling silver wire, mm. say get your one mil sterling silver wire, you wouldn't need a lot. I'm using plated because obviously I'm just demoing. So, we get, you'd use sterling, would you? I would, yeah, of course. Yeah. If you're using sterling silver within the actual connector, and to be fair, the amount that I'm going to use is so minimal that, you know, it's not going to take a lot. Um, and when you sort of work hard in sterling silver wire, it sets solid, mm. so, you know. Would you flatten it? Would you hammer it flat? Flatten? I will explain what I would do in a moment. Okay. So, no, I wouldn't hammer it before I start working with it, purely okay. because if you hammer wire and flatten it and then try to form it, oh, you can't, can't it kind of... Do, 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 yeah. So, yeah, it won't get a smooth shape. It'll almost sort of buckle. Mm -hmm. So, what I would say is um, we'll, we'll do the ring and then, because of the, the mandrels that we have, you can hammer directly onto the mandrel to get that texture if you wanted uh -huh. and to strengthen it as well. Okay. So, with regards to how much you need, I would say... If you're going to do this with sterling silver, do a prototype, measure how much you need, then go to replace it with sterling. So I've just got a short length of wire here, far too much, and that's fine. And what I'm going to do is place it at the size that I would actually want it to be, okay, because there's going to be no wire work done with this. So this is so simple and easy to do. So place oh. it at the size that you want it. Yeah. Bring your wires together. And then simply pop on your connector onto both those uh, wires. Drop it down again, making sure it stays at the size that you want it to be. So you can see the size in here. And just bring it all the way down and sort of make sure it's sitting nicely. And I'm holding it nice and secure. So just make sure you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. So I'm holding the connector in place. What I'm going to do is take one of the wires and just bring that down. So I'm actually locking that into place. I can finish it off in a moment. What I want to do is set it into place. Okay. So I can be sure I'm happy with that and then I can take the, the piece, make sure I'm holding it really nice and secure. I'm holding the wire around the back here and take that second wire there. That's going to lock that into place. Great. Okay. Then all you do is, again, so you're happy with that. And again, if you did want to adjust it, now would be the time because obviously once you've set this and cut the wires, that's it. It's yeah, set. you're committed. Yeah. So then you're just simply going to take your wire, cut it probably half of a centimetre of that. That might even be too much. Um, so take some pliers, which one? The chain those. And just bring that around. Oh, Lord, that's amazing. It's so, so simple. simple. Yeah, and if you did this with sterling silver as well, what you could do is come in at a slight oh, yeah. angle like this. Mm. And obviously that being sterling silver would be fileable. Mm. So you could just take a sort of a file and gently smooth that. 
nudge it in. Yeah, just take a file, just gently smooth it and sort of settle that down. Okay. Then go over to the opposite side. So again, cutting it at a slight angle, so it's actually at a slope when I cut that. Mm -hmm. If I can show you up close, actually, just to clarify what I mean, you should hopefully be able to see. Gray. Can you see Doesn't how the, the edge has been cut and rolled to a slope? Yeah, to an angle. So then I would just take that and just gently crimp that in. Sorry. Like that, and as I Give said, you would just take your uh, file, simple, that. just sort of make sure you're happy with the way that it's sitting, and then just take that like that, pop it back onto ring mandrel, and then this is where, if I was going to hammer it, You'd hammer it there, I would yeah. hammer it now, and obviously I would just take my time, obviously go very careful, don't go anywhere near yeah, this. Yeah, because amber's delicate, <coughs> be careful. Well, any, any connector that you do, you can do this with any connector. Yeah. Just gently hammer this, I would gently hammer it first, and then I would turn the hammer over. In fact... Here she goes. Ah. Here's one I stashed away earlier. Um, <laughs> we had this the other week. So what I would do is just, this is just the whammer tool. So I'm just, I'm not doing anything too crazy. Just very gently tapping. And I'm tapping with this um, side here. This is very slightly rounded, so mm -hmm. it will give a nice texture. You need to get those ring mandrels if you haven't got any. And then just bringing it around. And then just bring it around like that. And then, so you can see I'm doing this very gently. I'm not um, hitting it very hard at all. Nice and gentle. What I don't want to do is hit it down because I don't want to change the size mm. in. So just very gently hitting it like this. And then, when you take that off, if I can show you, hopefully you'll be able to sort of see a bit of a texture to it. So it's brilliantly see. finished, yeah. That texture there. It's great. And then that will strengthen it. So if you feel that, you can see I'm pop squeezing on, that quite pop hard. It on, Lord, pop it on, let's see what it looks like. I think that is brilliant. Well done, that there looks you go. So simple to do. I feel like everybody feels like they could do that as it's well. It's very achievable. And how pretty does that look? It's and again, so beautiful. So I wear some stacker rings, so you can stacker them Just if you want to. Flowers. Yeah, so yeah, there you go. Super easy. Beautiful, and you might want the pendant that goes with it. So here we have it for you. You could have the pen pendant. Uh, you could have the connector as a pendant too. You could, yeah. You load yourself up. That I'm just great. sort of. There we go. Lovely. Look, I've got a stacker. So here you've got. I'm going to turn it over for you so you can see all that silver look, and then you've got that wonderful pendant. Amber, all about it. Sterling silver with amber, and you have got five, six pieces of amber because of the centre one all together. That centre one is a lemon amber. That's really pretty. Is that? It is, oh, isn't it? that's really pretty. We know it will go darker and darker over time, but it will still all be different. Um, different shades. That's lovely. And then to have a piece set like that, I think this is lovely to give again to anybody of any age. So this is something I could see given to my daughter. Yeah. You know, or I could um, pop it onto a little necklace or someone who likes like slightly more delicate style jewellery, but still uh -huh. wants that little pop of a gemstone. It's nice to have it in a slightly different um, way really, isn't it? Definitely. PSGY12 is your item code. Come and grab that one fast. It could be going on um, an amber bracelet as well. We've got a little bracelet. Oh, that would be perfect. Here. Would be great like that. Oh, that's it? really pretty. You know, it's things like that that are just the little mm. finishing touches, aren't they? Whose is this lovely bracelet? It's gorgeous. Look at that connector. It looks, it looks really well with that, doesn't it? What the connector was on the morning show. It's lovely, isn't it? Not See, lovely. I love doing, and, and that's a beautiful connector, and I love doing um, sterling silver chain, a toggle clasp at the front, and then adding a few charms to the toggle clasp. Mm. So that would be a lovely little charm to add to a design like that. Well, look, we haven't had those little things in for ages. Those. Wire guardians. They're great, aren't they? They are great. They're very Wire essential guardians. as well. Where, where have they been? We haven't seen them for a long time. I haven't. Oh, I've been looking for them, wire guardians. They're brilliant. <laughs> A beautiful clasp, though. Isn't it just? Can't do it up there with one finger. Here we go, got it. <laughs> it's lovely as that, isn't it? Now, we're going to give to you 
What should be in it, darling? We've got those over here. <laughs> the drop high I may or may not have been them at the messing time. around with them. Sorry about that. So, no, you can show us exactly what you were doing, actually. So, here we go. Because I was thinking you could just use them as a shepherd's hook straight in your ear and just have a tiny bit. But do you think they'd be too I short? I think the metal's a tiny bit too short, if I'm honest. I think if you were to roll... Shall I try it? Um, right, do you want me to... You're that person that needs to be proved to. No, I just, yeah, well, I think you might be right. <laughs> I think you're right. It's too short. I, I personally would say it's too short. So if I was to do a shepherd hook, it's going to be too short. Far too short. Too short. Yeah. But you could kind of make a nice, um, almost make it into a nice bale. Good, could, couldn't you? And then you could kind of um, bring that around like that. So you could bring it into a nice kind of bale if you wanted to. Um, just have that as a drop pendant. That would look really pretty just as a, as a pendant. I was seeing whether we could do it as like a stud. Yeah. No? Mm. No. <laughs> or I hate that idea. £16.95. It's not the right pence. style, that's all. That's all it is. It's just not quite the right style. But, but that, yeah. you know, these are... And I have to admit, when I was well, looking I at these... these are all pendants after what you've just done. Yeah, I'll be honest. When I looked at it, I thought, oh, that wire's going to be really hard to kind of manipulate. No, it's not, because it? it's, it's quite solid. It's quite a thick piece of wire. Well, it's say it's about, silver. Say it's about a one mil. If yeah. I'm honest, that looks like a one mil. Definitely about a 0.8. Is it a 0.8? Mm, point, point 0.76? Yeah, so not far off of a 0.8. So it's a really substantial piece of sterling silver there. Um, and I was thinking, oh, it's going to be quite difficult to manipulate. But I'll be honest, and I'm going to show you this just so that you can see. If I put my pliers in here to the end and just roll this into making a head pin, yeah. uh, a wrap loop, sorry. If I just do this, look at how easy that turns. Oh, lovely. That is so well, easy to work with. That's why these are brilliant for pendants. I've and then just bring that around like that, pop that onto a shepherd hook, and you've got a beautiful drop earring. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> do you see what I mean? Yeah. Or you can cut it if you wanted to. Yeah. It's very fluid. Yeah. You've got an, um, where you don't want to sort of take away from it, you haven't got the um, big ball head pin at the bottom. No. Looks like those have gone and sold out, so it's time for another star buy. <laughs> A graduated strand of gorgeous cognac. Look, look, look. These are beautifully shaped. I love these. Beautiful, beautiful drops of um, amber, aren't they? They are. They are, they are. This one here, gorgeous. Look at that colour. See, oh, I think you'd treat these as individuals, wouldn't you? See, what you could do with these head pins is... I'm not going to do it, don't worry, I'm not going to cut them or anything, but one of the slightly smaller ones, you could. How do the drill holes fare in... in um... <laughs> Fairly oh, decent. Oh, really well. OK, <laughs> that looks um, great. So that's a, a point... We're just let's round it up to a 0.8 gauge wire. Imagine that, and that would be really cute. You could probably pop one more on there, maybe. These head pins are a great addition to your Yeah, I mean, stuff. but how lovely does that look? If you just rolled that into a little loop and put mm. that on a pair of earrings. And like you said, there's no head pin or anything to kind of finish that off. Yeah, then, yeah. So or like the little sort of um, ball on the end. So, yeah, really cool Yeah, they're gorgeous, addition. aren't they? I love they're, that. It's strand. just the lightness of these. Mm. They feel so light and the colour's so rich. So when you touch them, you're like... You sort of have to stop and think, is there mm. anything in my hand? But they're so tactile. I love to feel amber. I think it's so tactile. Such a wonderful, 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 wonderful gemstone. A nature's gift to us. D-I-G. Y-45. Oh my gosh, the space is a sterling silver as well, look. How many do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's fifteen sterling silver spacers. And how many 
and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's <clears throat> sizable pieces of amber as yeah. well, isn't it? And mm -hmm. again, you've got, I mean, just having that as a necklace, if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, but I also like the fact that you could, again, take that apart. You've got earrings, you've got a ring, you've got um, a, a bracelet centerpiece, you've got a charm if you wanted to, to add a bracelet. You know, there's a, you, you can either go full on and just have a necklace, yeah. full of, you know, um, put it all into one piece, or you could really sort of make a lot of pieces of jewellery with that. I think so. I think it's gorgeous. Mm. You're going to really enjoy this one. We're going to give you an excellent price indeed. Don't forget you got the element of sterling silver in there. $29.95. Beautiful, genuine Baltic cognac amber. These are graduated. They've got a fabulous drill hole in them as well. They're just gorgeous. Yeah, they're beautiful. As, I think, again, that's just such a beautiful example of amber, really, isn't it? Mm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Incredible price, really is. You just, you, honestly, you just want to feel them. Mm. Well done to everybody that's got theirs. They're 11 by 7 to 18 by 11 on the graduation. Um, well done, Derbyshire. You've got yours. Lincolnshire, you've got yours. North Yorkshire, you've got yours. Great to see your names popping up. What are you up to this evening? You having a nice weekend so far? I forgot that it was the weekend and woke up really early and went to wake Max up for school. He was not happy this morning. <laughs> Oh. Wake up, you've done it again. It's Saturday. Why are you waking me up? I was like, sorry, mate. You lose concept of the days, though, don't you, when we work like we do. You do like, I panicked and thought, I have an iron this shirt. I got up and thought, I'll make a cup of tea. And then I let the dog out. And then I thought, I better wake him up. And then he was like, it's Saturday. And I was like, You're so annoyed. Because <laughs> I thought we were late. Yeah, he was quite annoyed. Was and and then happy. when I looked at my phone, I had all those missed calls because. <laughs> Because Paul Zena was not the best like, way to oh, start. this is not a good morning. <laughs> but it ended up being a lovely morning. Twenty nine ninety five. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. Jurymaker dot com. Gorgeous. Yeah, that is a stunning strand. I, again, that's something that I think. Aren't we lucky, Lord? Yeah, we are. Samba. We really are. And I found, I found a little shop in um, Bath, actually. Oh, I love Bath. Oh, it's lush, isn't it? And um, there's a little, you know, like the little arcadey bit? There's a couple of little, little independent yeah. shops in there. Like the shopping parade. Yeah, place, and there was yeah. one in there, and they've got, it's literally full of amber in the window. And I, I, I'm that person that I'm like, It's oh. that kind of place, though. Yeah. Like Bath, Cheltenham, these little, uh, Brighton. Yeah. You get these sort of boutique yeah. shops. But I'm telling you, some of the prices. Expensive. I'm that person that's like, oh, I need to find out how much this is so I can see. Mm. In my mind, instantly, yeah. I need to compare it to what we sort of... But you've got to do that. I know that you people tend to have a... I mean, Bath is quite a high-end place yeah. to go shopping, isn't it? But it does go to show what people sort of will pay and what people will Absolutely. sort of charge. And I'll be honest, beautiful jewellery, but a lot of it was these kind of, you know, beaded sort of yeah, amber yeah. it wasn't sort so of it wasn't like um, they'd set it themselves no it wasn't like piece. yeah it yeah. was um sort of beaded sort of jewelry and it was beautiful mm. and there was one big long chip necklace and that was about 80 pound and it was just oh. it was amber chips which but that's how much it is yeah. isn't it so now we're going to do the multicolored graduated strap <laughs> i just literally touched it <laughs> to i be looked fair, at it back her up on that she literally just picked it up <laughs> Have you got it on Dewberry? It comes with the silver spaces. I literally, I promise you, somebody must have undone the knot. Or nobody undid it. It must have been the ghost. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll have to use these. I'll have to make something out of this now, won't I? Oh, look, Laura's challenge. Laura's challenge. Oh, look, there's a few on the floor, but that's fine. Will I get them? Will I get them? There's one down there as well. and There's one here. We can dot them in a moment. Laura's challenge is anything that falls off. I did look. I know that's the just... sound of those silver balls, though, isn't it? Isn't it? There we go. <laughs> I it. never say isn't it. Isn't it? I need that. Do you know what I'm saying? Isn't it, ain't it? I'm from Hertfordshire and Gloucestershire. I don't say isn't it. <laughs> I think you should change accents. I think we should change accents every now and again just to... Because it's interesting, isn't it? I'm rubbish at accents. I love an accent, though, do you? I, I do. love I'm like, just listening rubbish at them. to people. You could just like listen to them for ages, couldn't you? Like, I went to Vegas just after we got married, and um, I was in the sort of lift going down from the hotel. Was it your honeymoon? Well, it it was kind of a honeymoon. It was a present from my um, husband's 
boss at the time. I know. <laughs> we, were, we weren't Don't expecting, expecting it either. Don't be expecting that from us here at Jerry And, um, yeah, we were in the <laughs> lift, and there was obviously these Americans were just lovely. chatting, and I'm just like... And Tony's just like, stop staring. I'm really <laughs> fascinated. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just like, because it just amazes me. I like me. the Texan accent so much, especially when, like, <laughs> men have got it. There's that mm. guy, isn't there, that sings with that, uh, like, it's really handsome. <laughs> You're like, he's got a real Texan draw. Yeah, I do love an what's accent. What's his name? You know, like, that KC, what's her face that sings that rainbow song? <laughs> he sings something similar, but he's young. He's about, I'd say he's about 26, and he's really handsome. But he's a country and western singer. No, no. He's honestly, he's really quite handsome. <laughs> <laughs> that Texan drawl. KS, of course, Chris has met him. Chris has met everybody. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, thinks he's going travelling, and he said, and I said, where are you going first? He went, I'm going to see your daughter. I went, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Stop making lies up, Chris. Honestly. Now, we're going to give you the other cognac amber. <laughs> this is a beautiful stand. Which one are we going to give? The smaller one. They're non-graduated. Isn't it a gorgeous it stand? It's beautiful. He has got a wild imagination. He'll be a writer. He'll be a writer, he will. <laughs> Bless him. Bless his little darn and harsh. I'll leave him to it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring poor innocent Dan to this. That's what Leo was on it. Look how cute Dan is. Where are you from, Dan? Uh, it's Bromsgrove. Bromsgrove. Yeah, it's Lucy. You're, he's a cutie, isn't he? How old are you, Dan? 24. You have to think about that. You look younger than 24, which is good because you know you'll keep hold of that youth, okay? Sooner or later, it gets sucked out of you by life. She's such a, a, a beacon of joy, isn't she? <laughs> Just like. <laughs> <laughs> It won't. He is. He does look. See, he looks young though, doesn't he? He does look young. Because you think you look at your kids and think, oh, he looks about the same age as them. He's not. He's older. No, say, my son you, looks so older. You don't so look the same though. age as my son. Max is, my son's my son is right, super tall. He's nearly six foot. He's like a mini He's like a, he's like a man, you. isn't he? He's like a mini I know, he looks exactly like me. It freaks me out. It is. It's actually freaky. It when is. you look at someone who looks exactly like you, but male, <laughs> I actually said to him, is my moustache as bad as yours today? And he went, no, it's worse. <laughs> he won't shave. And I'm like, you have to shave that, mate. You look, it looks like oh, you... Oh, is he 14? Yeah, but honestly, he is like... Oh, my goodness. He's like a bloke. Like that. Talks like that. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. gosh. It's oh. ridiculous, Laura. They just... You I blink and they Jenny, grow. I can't, I can't cope with it. I can't cope with it either. I look at little pictures of his little cherub face. He came in, I like, remember him coming into the studio he when he was about cherub, eight. He was such a little cherub, wasn't he? A little blonde blue eyed yeah. cherub. No, he's a big old man now. <laughs> <laughs> 2495 for these. BZG Y82 is your item code. These are 11 by 7 on the nose and they are gorgeous. They come with those sterling silver spaces. I think there's a, a deep temptation just to restrand this and put it in a necklace, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like you say, if you, if you, if you were to do that, I mean, you would be looking at a lot if you were to sell it or gift it. I mean, imagine receiving that as a gift for Christmas. That'd be incredible. I think receiving any form of amber at any time mm. is amazing. Well, I can't wait for Christmas, can you? I'll be, I'll be, yeah, when I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm not I'm ready, ready for it yet. I'm not ready for it. Who's ready for it? I haven't even plucked the turkey yet. I um, did actually being... book the turkey today. We actually went to the butchers and we've got, we've got the meats and, and stuff that we need yeah, that's in all place done. to yeah, be picked that up. Done. So that's pretty good. That's one off the list. Oh, it's present time now, isn't it? Let's get, let's get making it. Let's get... Because yeah. you've already made for your fairs and stuff. Now it's time now to it's make time to for make your, your friends. Now it's time to make your family and your friends. And there's sometimes the most fun thing yeah. to do. Because there's no pressure of like, will they like this? Will, will this sell? Will this? You're making it and you're thinking of that person. And I think with Amber, you've got something that everybody knows. And it's it's always cherished, is Amber. Yeah. Oh, it really it's is. And, a, and understood, I think, mm. as well. Oh, completely. It's you definitely know. a mainstream gemstone in that yeah. in that frame. Yeah, definitely. They're lovely. Make sure you're checking out, though. I don't want anybody missing out on this one. BZG Y82. Multicoloured version coming. Oh, I haven't got a multicoloured version of that or of graduated. Probably the graduated. ba ba da ba dum ba da dum ba dum no, that's all the same size, Jenny, I think. Oh, no. No, it's I'm not. All right, my bad. 
Yeah, these are all the same size. Oh, sorry, I broke the other one then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't. It did, it did sort of just fell apart. Well, it fell apart in my I hands. Will, I, like will be, my life I saw that. Does. I did see that. <laughs> it's like life. It's falling. It's crumbling beneath you. <laughs> 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 well, no, it's Laura's challenge. When something breaks, Laura gets challenged. Well, to be fair, it gives me something to work with, so... Oh, you've made some gorgeous earrings. Yeah. These are beautiful. You going to wear those? I might have to you model better, you them, you know. Stick them in your ears. <laughs> Again, it's just using the head pins, though. Pretty cool. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They're great, those. Mm. They swing nice as well. Yeah. Mm. Lovely, lovely stuff. This is fun working with all this. That's yours. It is fun, isn't it? It is fun. Yeah, I love shows like this. We're just like, let's just have keep a go. making. See what happens. Keep on making. I've got the graduated, yeah, so it's this is the non graduated, so don't look at mine. <laughs> don't look at mine. <laughs> <laughs> we're all confused. No, we're not. This is a non graduated version of the graduated one. Uh, RSGY. 31, your Baltic multicolored ambers. So the, the benefit in having those um, multicolors, a lot of people go for the certain colors. The deeper, the richer colors can be really expensive. But those lemon tones are very fresh and, and quite a rarity out there. When you mix them all together, and then the cognac tones there, mix them all together, you get a really sort of rustic piece of jewelry. And I think that, that just looks sensational, well, doesn't it? That's what it? I said to you earlier, wasn't it? About getting the multi-tone, everybody mm. associates Really, if you said amber, instantly you, you go to the amber and you go to the colour of yeah, amber, yeah. amber colour. Yeah. So to have it in that mixed tone, to have the, um, like you say, that lovely deep red and then the sort of lovely lemon colour, that isn't as easy to come across. And it's no. also, it isn't as well known as well. So it's mm -hmm. lovely for people to see that there's more choices available. Yeah, I think so too. It's about choice, isn't it, in life? And also about you've got that design in your head mm. and you need something specific. If you don't see it, and you've got to catch it when you see it, you know? Say that again, my sweet darling. Do -be -do 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 -do. Oh, you'll like this, Laws. Should we have some 0 0.25 wire in silver? I love silver. a bit of 0.25. Bit of wrapping wire. We had Alison Tara's DVDs on yesterday. Did you mm, see them? No, I was... Um, <gasps> I was, yeah, on my way to the cottage, went out. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, how lovely. So did you come from there today then? I did. Oh, yeah. that was a drive, Laura. It was, yes, yes it, was. it was a little bit of a trackage, but it was nice. It Aww. was lovely to wake up this morning. It's all nice and quiet. And seasidey. Just no. you. It's not seasidey, it's down in the country. Oh, I thought it was in... No, no, where? Exmoor. Why did I think it was where Butlins was? It is, but it's like 40 minutes away from Butlins. Oh, right, okay. It's in that direction. <laughs> I think it's because of my way of explaining it. It's always, it's in between. <laughs> it's in between Minehead and Tiverton. Minehead, I know there's a beach there because I went there to Butlins. Is. Yeah. I nearly lost my son who was running after Bob the Builder and Spud. <laughs> The worst time ever. It wasn't a holiday at all. I was just spent the whole time running after my son, going, no, <laughs> leave Bob alone. He's going on a break. Uh, he goes on a break. <laughs> he wants, but boys just run, don't mm -hmm. they? When you have toddler boys, oh. they just run. It's not like a girl. Girls will do as they're told. They will consider what you've said. They will read a book. Do, they will colour in. They will do, you know, do I think, things. I think, no, both of you and I, we both, our, our girls are the oldest yeah. and the first. And yeah. I, a lot of the time I've heard it's first, it's second child. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Ours just both happen to have to be boys, <laughs> which doesn't no, help. No, because boys climb stuff. Yeah. And you're like, stop, get down, please. Take that out of your nose. Why are you putting that there? Girls don't do that. Jack said no not to do and that. And he'll sort of kick himself off of a wall. And you're yeah, just like, you're why? Like, why? Stop it. Why are you yeah. doing that? Land on their head and get up again. You're like, that hurt. Don't do it. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> but they are fun. They are very, very fun. They're testing. Definitely testing. Max makes me laugh like no one else. Yeah, makes they've me got laugh. a funny, quirky sense of humor. Yeah, like he, that kid can turn my mood like that. Mm. I'm gonna be really angry with him one minute, and then he'll just turn it and be like, "I'm sorry, I love you. I'm genuinely sorry." Whereas a girl would be like, "Let's argue about this because I am right and you are wrong." Whereas boys can't be bothered. They're just like, "I'm really sorry and I love you." Okay, and you're like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> Not girls. He knows how to play you, doesn't he? Oh, right. He knows how yeah, to play absolutely. you. Absolutely. That kid. 
I look, he looks at me and I go, all right, go and get my purse. £4.95 <laughs> pence for this 100 metres of silver wire, 0.25k. PZR18 is your item code. And uh, it, it's, it's a wrapping wire, this Laura. It's what it? I use for my um, intricate weaving. It's for when uh, you can add this with like a 0 0.6, 0 0.8. It's boing. Um, <laughs> and it just enables you to do, for me, it's a it's a visual thing. Um, if you want to do your weaving with it, then it kind of looks like almost like printed metal. Whereas if you use like a 0.4, it's more textural. It's being printed metal, so like it's a flat. Yeah, because it's pattern. such a fine wire, when you use it, it looks almost like a pattern printed. Yeah. Whereas if you were to use, say, a 0.4, it's a bit more raised, so it's more right, textural. so it protrudes out. Yeah, yeah, so it's just, again, it's visual. But for me, I find with a 0.25, because it's finer, you get more control over your pieces. Yeah, you and can, you can, can't you? You know, it, because it's you not adding. You do that thing Alison was doing yesterday, where she just does that. She's like, you can't really do this with a thicker wire. She's like, <laughs> you'd be like that. <laughs> now, I think it's time... To do that, it's on the it's on the actual necklace connector that is brand new. So many people have asked for it. See, you could. You've got another loop there. We could keep going and keep going and keep you going. Could, yeah. Just start by. There's a little cock-a-doodle-doo that noise that I did. Was that what that was? Uh-huh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> this is the pendant veil that we're giving to you. So you had this one already. That was 4 99 and this is on our website. So it's from here down. But what you'll notice is you've got another loop. So it's a connector. So, Laura, mm -hmm. you're going to do your thing with yeah, it, Yeah, so go you? on, Ed. Do you want to choose... Um, so we use one of the head-pinned ones because... I think so. What colour yeah. do you think? Well, either. Should really? we go lemon? Maybe you should go with... Oh. Yeah, maybe no. lemon because there isn't any lemon and there's... Well, hang on, no, because I, I see what you're saying about with keeping that. it colour-toned. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go with this one. And it's sterling silver, those head-pins. We're using those head-pins again. They're very useful. Okay. So I'm going to actually make just a loop with this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to do a wrap loop. I'm just going to make an eye loop. So I'm just going to fold that forward very gently so it's got an angle. Okay. And then I'm actually going to... We're doing the connector. We're using the connector yeah. for this. So I'm going to cut this. And again, if you're cutting your sterling silver, keep it. Um, keep it because you can either reuse it or you can actually put it you to be melted. You can make a jump ring out of that, can't you? Or you could use it to be melted down as well. So don't mm. waste it, basically. Mm. And then just taking my round nose ply, I'm going to just go to the sort of larger part and I'm just going to roll this into a little Perfect. loop. Lovely. Okay, and then again, same as we open the jump ring, I'm just going to attach that here. And because this loop is going in the opposite direction, it means it will sit just as we want it to. Because we said earlier, didn't we, about the direction mm. of the loops affects how it sort of lays. Brilliant. There's your pendant. There you go. Perfect. Because Sorry, you've got that connector. Bit, go. So this is what we've added with the um, head pins, head which pins. just seem am amazing. This is the connector that you're getting here, which we connected to the bale that had amber in it as well. Mm. So what you've got here now is an exceptionally expensive looking piece of jewellery that you could you could charge eighty nine ninety nine for that. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon? Well, I think for something like that, you would probably be looking at more towards sort of like, yeah, right towards your... Towards your hundreds. Yeah. So there's the bale on its own. This is what it is now, and here's what it could be when you put lots of elements together. That looks like it belongs in a jewellery shop window, in a jeweller's window. And if you were to... Gorgeous. I mean, how long would that take to put together? Oh, minutes, Laura. Se it, yeah, it takes... once you've got the idea in your yeah. head, you're on. Literally, just making that eye pin out of that head pin and then popping it mm -hmm. with jump ring on, that's it. And all that silver. Yeah. So I mean, that's a really expensive piece of jewellery there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, oh. one stone and silver jump ring is all you need to mm. add. That's incredible. So that connector was 4 95 yeah. How much were these head pins again? Yeah, but how many? How much were they individually? So that's, that's one pound 69 each. 
So can you add this up? Four ninety five plus one pound sixty nine plus whatever this pendant is, and we're talking that this should be. I'm saying it should be about eighty nine ninety nine mm. in an every. But if you were going to London and selling it there, it would be a hundred and something. Oh pounds. yeah, or if you were to go into Bath or something like that. So this whole thing would cost me twenty four fifty nine at the price we're going to give you this. So that's amazing. And how much was the chain? The chain was six ninety. Six ninety five. So the whole thing. Less than £30 for the whole thing. It's cost you to make. So you could, you would quite easily be able to sell that, I think, for about £90 mm -hmm. as a minimum. Mm -hmm. um, and that's twice your money back. And bearing in mind, obviously, that's just one head pin. You can make... Mm. 31.54 all together. With the price we're going to give you on the pendant, the pendant bail, the head pin, and the sterling silver chain. That is amazing. That's amazing. $17.95 for that connector. Go! It's gorgeous. Get all of those elements. If you want all of those ingredients, you can get them on the website. And don't forget, you'd still have all of those head pins left yeah. as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've made matching oh, pair of Oh, you want to make it so that it's less than that to make it? Wait there, then. Okay, so let's add it all up together. So how much was it to make the... How much was it to make that all together? 30 something. 31 but you're going to take it down to make it even more affordable for everybody. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> How much would it have cost me to make the entire pendant though then? Or everybody else at home to make the entire thing then? <laughs> tappy, tappy, tappy. <laughs> tappy, tappy, tappy. <laughs> oh. Are you ready to get all of these elements with the chain for £22.44? £8.85. Go, Make go. a matching pair of earrings if you were to <gasps> buy the head pins. Yes. Um, and just pop them onto sterling silver shepherd hooks. Um, yeah, easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh. Can I see the names, darling? Can't see the names on my screen. Here we go. Edith, you've got yours. Sabine's got three. Lynn's got two. I wonder if Sabine's going to do earrings and a yeah. pendant. Yeah, that would be... It's a good idea, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely get the head pins. Definitely get the head pins because they work really well with them. Can we have the details for those head pins, darling, as well at the bottom? Is that okay? Sorry to, boss, to, to be bossy. Um, they're coming up for you because those head pins have been super useful. They're at the bottom of your Is screen an... for you. So I'm going to just ask, is there an earring find in the stand over there? Sorry, I'm just going to ask instead of, thank you, <laughs> sorry. 8.95 XEG, Y90, be quick. And here it is. Where is the matching pendant? You've got it there. I okay, it. great. So here we have the matching pendant. I love that. That is so See, expensive It's looking, lovely, Laura. isn't it? Because I think yeah. this suits different people's tastes now. So if somebody likes them like a little bit more sort of mm. um, detailed, thank you. And you can do that. Then you can. If you just want to go to make a little bit more sort of plain and simple, then you can just simply have the pendant. So we've got a pendant for you. If that's your option, pop it straight onto the chain. Now, you don't need to put a jump ring on this, do you? Because you've got, um, you've got a bail like that. Yeah, you Rather can simply pop it the other way. It's have gone you got that any of those um, triple? Um, remember we had those no, three? they gone. They went back They home. went back. They went back home. <laughs> But yeah, so you could did. just pop one of them straight through. Straight through, and then you've got this yeah. of jewellery. Yeah, pretty much. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. You've got real rich cognac amber in there as well. Lovely little marquees in there. And you've got a lot of sterling silver. 925 stamped. This is bigger, isn't it? Is it bigger than the... Yeah, this is actually quite a bit bigger than the connector. £12.61, it's bigger. Yeah. Do you want me to put them next to each other so you can see how much bigger? For doink. For doink. So, so yes, significantly yeah. bigger, yes. Definitely. But isn't that gorgeous? But it's only a couple of pounds extra. I thought it would have been much more ex expensive than the other one. At 12 61 ASG Y92 is your item code for that one. Lovely. Gorgeous. 
We've made lots of exciting mm. things, haven't we? Mm -hmm. We have made lots of exciting things. It goes things. to show how you don't have to do anything complex as well, doesn't mm. it? Yeah, you don't, because uh, especially with um, findings like this, mm. the complexity is already done. Yeah, it so really is. So it's up is. to you to just showcase that. Yeah, it's just the biggest part is the designing of it, really, putting yeah. it together into a piece. Yeah, and, and I think with Amber, you're sort of inspired anyway, because there's quite a lot that you can research about Amber mm. Jewelry and see, because it is one of those firm favourites. Uh, Losey there, Edith, Nicola, April, West Yorkshire, Leicester, um, Ali in Essex, Susan in Hertfordshire, 12 pounds and 61. Wouldn't this look lovely? I mean, I've got the multicoloured here, but mm. we had the um, all one colour one, didn't we? Wouldn't this look lovely with these rosary linked? Oh, yeah. Maybe. It would. Um, you could go multicoloured or you could have... Um, um, I love a rosary the, link. Yeah, I do, do you? rosary link all of these mm. um, and have that because of the shape of these. I think that would tie in beautifully as well. If you didn't want to just put it under, and again, that's what we were saying about it being the design as opposed to just being yeah. the um, putting it together as well. But I think that would look really pretty. Yeah, me too. Mm. It's gorgeous, really gorgeous. Twelve pounds sixty one ASG Y ninety two. Now, my darling angels, uh, what are we going to do next? Can we give some more wire? Let's do some more. Oh, champagne wire. It's my favourite of the golds, the champagne mm, colour. It's got lovely warmth to it. It's really classy looking, I think. It is, yeah. It looks nice with the silver. If you use a silver base wire with this yeah, over it, because it. it's not like a really harsh contrast. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks in keeping with the silver, you know, it's got that sort of subtlety yeah. to it, hasn't it? Uh, it's really pretty, isn't it? Don't you think? It is gorgeous. It's got love, like you say, it's got lovely warmth and mm. tonally I think it works with so much. It just, again, it just ties things together, doesn't it? Definitely. Mm. DEZ R31, 100 metres of champagne coloured wire. And we don't see 0.25 very often at all. We just don't when see it. When it, it flies out because it's a yeah. weaving wire and people go through it. We just, so every time more. I ask for it to be in kits, they're just like, really? we don't have it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, 4.95. Be quick then definitely a hundred meters of it yeah and uh, it i mean it does go a long, long way but it is if it is your weaving wire it's the one you're going to use the most but of. it's nice to have that amount because you will use a lot of it because mm. it is a finer gauge wire so therefore you know it does you do use more of it up it's also very good for crocheting as well yeah 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 if you're knitting with it is great yeah. for crochet isn't it if you're crocheting your your bib pieces knitting can you knit with it yeah can you do Lazy Daisy with it, um, the bike um, in it, or is it a bit too fine? I don't, because... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's a little bit too fine for later days. You could, but because you'd have to use long, because you can't use it directly, you have to keep. Um, right. Yeah, it is. I personally just say no. Okay, uh, there we go. Um, now, DEZR31. The which one, sorry? So it said white gold. I was like, white gold? Silver? <laughs> now, can you tell the difference between white gold in reality and silver? Because I've got some white gold no. stuff, rings, and I've got silver rings. And when you put them next to each other, there isn't a major difference. But white gold could be a bit shinier, maybe. I don't know. I don't, but I don't really know. No. Think the same no. Unless you look at the hallmark. Okay, so 100 metres of gorgeous rose gold. Mm -hmm. Perfect with your copper wire. So, like, even here, so I've got some <coughs> copper wire here, That's see? That's bare copper, is it? This is bare copper. So, again, look, it's perfect to work with this. And I, I love using, um, like, a plated fine gauge and then mm. a bare sort of base wire. Yeah. Because the bare copper will tarnish. Naturally, it's, it, it's known for doing that. Um, and so it changes in its colour tone, but mm. this won't. So Why? you then get that two-tone colour look. So if that does tarnish or stops to patina, then this will retain its brightness and it gives a lovely contrast. Oh, perfect. And at 4 95 it's a sensational price, isn't it, for you? XNZR53. Can I nab that? Of course can I have this, please, Kerry? Uh, Becky. I don't know, I keep calling Kerry. <laughs> yes, I said yes, you can have it. You can <laughs> Thank you. And then I can use that with my... Uh, yeah, we can let's throw a Laura little, challenge. We can have a little Laura challenge with it. Uh, so far, we have seen so much. The deal of the day is the big chunks of amber. If you want that, get, can I quickly show it? This is the deal of the day today. Still opportunities for you to grab them, but not lots of opportunities. We don't have loads of those left. That could be your, isn't that? That's fabulous. incredible. That's real amber. That's mad, God bless isn't it? You. 
And you would expect that when you pick that up to be like a real heavyweight. But yeah, it's, it's so oh, it's incredible. You could keep it in your handbag and just keep <laughs> with it. If that's what you do, sort of thing I'd sort of thing. Sort of thing. Catch me in the supermarket <laughs> doing and people are like Me is going, this. Oh mum, you're being weird again. When people are in the supermarket, <laughs> I had those yogurts last week, they're my favourite. Some people are like, All right, love. You keep your eyes on your own yogurts. Uh, don't go anywhere, the fun continues after this. <laughs> Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the Gem Setting Day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian Nuggets. As well as that, we're going to be bringing to you the Deluxe Gem Setting Toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you Yellow Sapphire, Aquamarine, Pink Amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also going to be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. The Jewelry Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Order from us today at www.jewelrymaker.com Must have is all about the maple leaf. We're all coughing here. All right, everyone okay? We're all I'm fine. It's the... just, I'm just, yeah. Now, you've got the head pins to these as well. I have, yes. Uh, which is really fabulous. But I think, you know, if you think Canada, you think of maple syrup. You do, don't yeah. You? Um, and these are that kind of colour, aren't they? 
everywhere in Canada get that. But these are autumnal. Yes, most They're definitely. Beautiful. Yeah. Have definitely. They are beautiful. And again, if like we've got Canadian um relatives, so I'd love to sort of make something and send it send over it for out them. There, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Sterling silver spaces in between each one. The clarity is insane. And these are very, very different, aren't they? They're really beautiful. And again, I think it's like you say, for me, I would be thinking I've got to make something for um, sort of the family. Mm. Um, and, you know, we've had Claire and um, Danny have just come back from Canada. So, it, you know, it's a very um, significant symbol, really, isn't it? Yeah. My grandfather was Canadian. Was he? Yeah. I used to work just outside Toronto. I was about to say, there have loads. you been to Canada? So yeah. yeah, yeah, I used to work in Mississauga, which is just outside of Toronto, oh. on the shopping channel there. Oh. Mm. My, hus my husband's family live in Winnipeg. Oh, do they? Yeah. It's lovely. I love Canada. The seasons are amazing. So you get a definite it goes, summer. Yeah. It's really hot. Uh, and then when you it get goes a definite into winter, the... don't you? Oh, gosh, it snows. <laughs> but at least you know it's going to snow in the winter. It's going to be boiling hot in the summer. And in the autumn, all the colours are going to come and it's going to be beautiful. It's stunning. <laughs> every, time we, every time we put a picture of our, like, oh, my goodness, it's snowing in England. And they're and like, like, really? <laughs> Let me show you what our snowing is up they're to there. You have to put chains on your tyres. Yeah. You have snow tyres and snow chains. We don't even go that far. <laughs> but you know it, it would be lovely to sort of make something special for them we want to go to Canada um, at some point I did say to Jackson when you're about 9 or 10 Jax we'll, um, go, we'll all go, go. All, but all he go. remembered that so he went mm. next year we're going to Canada aren't we and I was like uh, are we he said yeah because I'll be 10 I'm like um but we'll, oh you should go yeah it's 100%. on my list it's on my list but it's massive you know you can drive to Miami in a day from Can if, you, if you're in Toronto can you? Yeah, you could live in Canada, Kerry. You could just drive to Florida. There mm. you go. Look at this. How beautiful is that strand? And it does make us... I mean, we're all talking about Canada and... It's just beautiful, stunning. CAG, but you could just take these as leaves and, and do a gorgeous cascading yeah. leaf piece. Yeah. Really autumnal. Maybe put some uh, maybe put some other gemstones in with it. Maybe put some some um, garnet in with it. Make it really rich. CAG Y53, this is your star buy. You get 10 to the strand with Sterling's uh, Spacer Beads for $14.95. Are they Sterling's Spacer Beads? Everything else has been Sterling's. So, yes, they are. They I are think that's Sterling. what I like about our amber. Most, nine times out of ten, we always 40. add sterling silver mm. elements just with the strand. Yeah. Which so I think is incredible. It speaks volumes of the quality, yeah. doesn't it? Absolutely does. CAG Y53, your Baltic Cognac Amber. That is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Delia, you've got yours. Ellen Hampshire, Maxine in Lincolnshire, jewellery maker in Nottinghamshire, you've got yours. Patricia in the Shire. Uh, we've got a message from who, sorry? Do -do -do -do. I've bought some lovely amber things today for the people who mean the most to me. They'll think I spent a fortune. Shh. <laughs> Yeah, and you'll keep a few for yourself. And the thing is, that is a very valid point because yeah. we, uh, going back to what I said it's about being complacent, we, you know, we are so we are such a comparable price. It's incredible, I yeah. think. You know, to be able to make a piece of jewellery for for loved ones and friends is incredible to say that you can do that. Agreed, wholeheartedly agreed. Whoops, a Daisy. They're so light, <laughs> you can drop them easy. I just like feeling. I just love the feel of it. It's so tactile, isn't it? It is beautiful. Isn't it? It is. Isn't it? <laughs> Keep saying that. Isn't no, that lovely? Really pretty. Really Getting pretty. a really cute little ring out of that. What are you up to over there? I'm going to make a bit of a weave. I am using the 0.25 wire that we've had. Oh, lovely. Um, some, I think this is a 0.6 that I had, just happened to have in my bag. And I'm going to make a nice woven pendant out of maybe a triple piece. Oh, I haven't gorgeous. decided yet. Oh, can't wait to see it. Now, we're going to give you the same but in multicolour this time. If you get both, you'll be able to make more, won't you? Just well, you could, make, you could make the multicolour the sort of the centre feature part and then use the um, one colour sort of to be the, the finishing piece. Mm. A few rosary linked them, maybe. Aren't they lovely? I really enjoy that lemon colour as well. 
And again, I think this is great, like you were saying about sort of autumnal, when you think of the leaves changing, they do change to those different tones, don't they? So it's, um, it's lovely to have that represented in, in a gemstone. Yeah, definitely. It's insane that they can cut like this, Amber, because like we were hearing earlier, like Becky was saying, you have to sort of cut it and move away, cut it and move away, because you can't let it get too hot, can you, because it melts. Oh, yeah. The other Becky, not director Becky. I mean, <laughs> producer Becky. <laughs> no one knows your name. Your well, everybody, you're, you and your sister have the same voice. They, you do. Like, literally, it's the exact they same They do this voice. every time, and then they both yeah. go, which one's talking now? And you're like, oh, um, they They're always do that twins, to me. They're not twins, are you? No. Twins? You're not twins, are you? That was Becky. Was that Becky? Yeah, I got I mean, that one. She says yes, but you don't know. <laughs> you... <laughs> no, she would tell me. She'd quite happily tell me if it's not. £17.95 for these. They're beautiful. We're having such a successful day today. I don't be... We love it when you text us in. Can you believe it's Saturday already? Can you believe we're sort of quarter of the way through December? What's the date today? What date is it? 7th. Can you believe that? No. <gasps> in, ten, in 20 days' time, it'll all be like done and, done dusted, and dusted, kipper and custard. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It is crazy. And I think that's part of what it is. It's like, all of a sudden, it takes all that build-up, and it's over. And you're like, This year's oh. gone so quick. So much has happened for me in this year. It has gone really quick this year. I always, I've said, January for me was quite a slow goer, and then it literally hit February, and it was like, you blink, and you're into another month. It's, in, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, God bless you. Your bless coffee you. is sneezing. You ought to go home, darling. Are you ill? <laughs> Are you cold? You're cold, aren't you? Turn, okay. turn it off. Put it on. We will be warm. Go and turn it off. You look like you're shivering. I don't mind. Go and please. Go and put my coat on or something. You look poorly. If, like, I want to wrap you up in a blanket and make you chicken soup. <laughs> now. Oh. A up. Now, have you got some of these as well? I have some of these. these different version? No, I think these they're... These are graduated. Oh, no, they're different sizes. <laughs> you want me to wrap you in a blanket too? Okay. Yeah, when I'm poorly, I'm going to call you, so come and look after me. I'm really good at that. It's actually... I know this is a really awful thing to say, but when my kids are ill, I... No, I don't like that they're ill, but... You like being able I to mother them. I enjoy the patheticness of them, okay? <laughs> I'm like, it's okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> and I like when they're like, I need you, mommy. I'm like, I know, come on, snuggle in. And they get in my bed and I snuggle them in. And I say, stay there, I'm going to put a nice movie on for you. And I keep going up and I keep checking them. <laughs> Giving them a little foot massage. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I make them a special drink. Lemon and honey and I crush the paracetamol up. On the back of a spoon. Oh, you are good. And an ibuprofen. And, and I squeeze a lemon in it. It's, a, it's my special sick drink. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Then I go downstairs and I light the fire and I make it all cosy and then they go down there unless they're too hot. Because they got a temperature. Then I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Am you I are mad? good mum. No, you are a good mum. Like, I'll go to Max. Oh, are you poorly? And he'll be like, no, I'm fine. I'm like, you look like you're going to be poorly. You might be poorly tomorrow. <laughs> That's mad. He's like, I am fine. Get away from me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so these head pins, um, talk to us about how you've been able to utilise these, Laura. So I actually, again, well, you can see in the earrings here that I've, I've used the different shapes, but still head pins. So you can, if I show you those, these are obviously the drops that we had earlier. But so you could do you two can do the exact same thing. One pendant. Yeah, there, well, I made you? that pendant, didn't I? Yeah. Sort of randomly. Definitely. With one of the drops. So yeah, you could definitely do, sort of, sorry about everything going on there. Um, so you can see that, that's just head pins. These are head pins with an added gemstone and some sterling silver beads. This was one that we rolled over just into a little pendant. And you could do all of this with those as well. Mm. Um, what I was doing, I think we've probably got these ones coming up in a moment, was I was kind of looking at locking them into a design like this. If I show you... Um, I'll just pop it here. Come towards me, my dear. Again, you could use the larger one there as the bottom drop. 
Uh huh. Yeah. Um, and then you can kind of then just pop this onto a chain. I was just looking at playing about with movement, really, and seeing how you could lock them into a design. But you could switch that and have that one there. Oh yeah. So you'd have that. Look effect. amazing. Um, and then just pop a chain through it. You know, maybe do something a bit different. It's quite contemporary, that yeah. is, isn't it? And then you've got the classic amber. Yeah. Uh, we've seen how important these have been. They're not all the same size. One of them's larger. No, they're one of them's no. larger, look. What are Hang them? on a minute. Because there's large and small ones in here. We have got graduated ones. No, that one's larger. You can see on the picture there's one larger. You're going to believe me, are you? <laughs> the fool. No, no, it is, uh, it, is, it is like that. I'm pretty sure. Put them back. Now I'm going to give you all the same size, but larger than the ones we just gave you. So these would all be pendant sizes or earring mm -hmm. sizes again. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter what you do with them, does it? No, no rules. Now, we discovered that these were too short to make shepherd's hooks directly out of. Yeah. Yeah, they just don't, that's why we ended up with the pendant. I didn't believe you at first. No, I know you didn't. But I we, was like, no, you'll get away I with know. that. We wasn't having none of it. No. Not even if we do it directly from there. No, we wouldn't, would it? <laughs> well, you still don't <laughs> believe me, even though I've proven it to you. <laughs> Prove it to me again, how? <laughs> no, see, this is why. Look, this is it. <laughs> Roll I'm, over. I'm so annoying like this. <laughs> like, don't give up. We can try. I'm sure this one's different. It's you not. can't fit this square peg into this round. <laughs> we will try. <laughs> <laughs> I think these would be great in um, hat pins. Yeah. Now. And again, like you say, I think for this, you've got your sterling silver. I just love them as, as like you say, as earrings, mm. really. You could just wrap loop You can it, wrap loop you? them, have them as a drop. You can, again, you can pop a, a little round gemstone onto it or the, one of the smaller maple leaves, the, the little beads. Um, you know, I think it's just, I personally would be kind of tempted to just roll that over and just make, um, I'd be tempted to just roll it over and make a little drop pendant out of it, to be honest. Definitely. You know, I just think they're really sweet. Something a bit different, aren't they? Yeah. So here's um, an example of a pendant bale done with one of these. Okie crokey. We didn't have the price. There we go. Fourteen ninety-five. Got to move on. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got leaf ones. Can we have a look at those in a minute? What was in number six? Oh, was that? Oh, oh no, no, oh, I did. No, no, no. My, no. my more one colour. So here we have more of the more of the same head pins, but this time <laughs> these are all the same. These are slightly smaller. How many head pins do you want? Uh, Z Y G Y fifty three. No, actually, I'm going to retract that because you want as many as the pet. Well, you want you want as many as you can possibly get your hands on if you've got a certain project in mind, don't you? <laughs> And also, it's nice to have different sizes because, you know, it's going to, to suit different projects. Yeah. You can do graduated looks with them, can't you? You can make sweets out of them. So mm -hmm. you could do your earrings, your pendant, um, you maybe roll them, maybe do some, um, like a tassel mm. necklace with them. And what I like is because when you've got a detail like this, you don't want it to be drilled all the way through and you want to be able to have See that finish. The actual, yeah. yeah. Here we go, ZYG Y53. Let's give you your price. £14, 95 pence. Uh, should we do the leaves next? Let's do the leaves that were in number nine. Oh, 
Okay, this time I really, I, I think I like my these. I like these. I think they're the my favourite. But I'd put the maple leaves with the standard leaves. Yes. I think these are so, these are pretty. These to me would be on their own. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're all, I think that's what you've got. Again, that goes into that design um, element that we were talking about, having to factor in how you're going to really showcase what you're working with, really. Mm. That's beautiful. They're lovely, aren't they? So again, look at the detail that's gone into carving that detail. I mean, you've got all of that um, carving. You've got that, um, like you say, it's not interfering with the gemstone at all. Really pretty. URG Y21. 19 pounds and 95 pence. URG Y21. Uh, so these are 20 pounds for 10. So that's two pounds each, isn't it? For, that's two pound in amber. So four pounds for a pair of earrings. If you want to just pop yeah, them onto a pair. Yeah. Of, that's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, really fabulous, really fabulous. 0800 You can tap the app. There's a 30 day money back guarantee with everything that you purchase from us here at Jewelry Maker. Again, it's just nice to have something a little bit different, isn't it, in your stash? Yeah. Guess what I've got now? More leaves. But this time... Oh, no, they're not, actually. These are like little... Are they leaves? Yeah, they are leaves, aren't they? But look, they've got a point that... You have to feel it because you can't see it. Oh, OK. Oh, these are cute. We're having a leaf hour. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're laughing like Scooby-Doo as well. <laughs> <laughs> so these are like leaves, but and you do have a groove down them. You get ten of these again. And these are just another option for you. So we'll be quite quick with these because they're just different options of the same thing. There's only so much you can listen to me saying the same thing over and over again, isn't there? I do appreciate that. TG Y85. 19 pounds and 95 pence up for you. It's almost like they've been faceted, isn't it? When you think of when you get... Um, They're very affordable. You sort of, you get a facet, that kind of point, it gives a different dimension to it, mm. doesn't it? To know these are two pounds each and you've got sterling silver, that is very affordable, Laura. Yeah, literally. If you've got some shepherd hooks at home, I would make a pair of earrings like this where I just literally yeah. roll the top of the head pin over um, and just pop it directly onto a pair of shepherd hooks. Mm -hmm. That's all you would need to do. That would yeah. look really pretty. And it took just seconds to do that, didn't it? Yeah, seconds. TG Y85, 19 pounds and 95 pence. Should we do a little cheeky wire bundle, shall we? Ah, come on now. Come here to me. Now. We have got 0.4 for you. 10 metres of each, 30 metres of 0.4, and this is in the gold. So again, a great if you want to do sort of um, tiara twist jewellery. Again, if you want to buy, this is ideal for Viking knitting. What about rosary links? Can rosary, I do that with this? You can, yeah. You can rosary link with a point four. Again, great for your finer drill gemstones. Um, as I said, um, your sort of your Viking knit, your all of those kind of techniques. It's mm. going to be brilliant. You can weave again with your point four, point four and one. They are my sort of nice. Com I like to use Go those to as use. a combination. Yeah, mm. um, but you can certainly use it within your pieces. So a brilliant. Um, staple really within your supplies so here we have them for you all oh, all three for 2 all three. that's a pound each wow they're a pound <laughs> evil laugh coming uh, i need to see everybody's names there you are aisha you were first in multi-buy uh, so you've got three lots and they're a pound each. If you've already got a basket open, you may as well put this one in because you're not paying any extra PMP. No, no. And again, it's great to just sort of, like you say, to have that. If you wanted to do bridal, if it was a gold, yeah. you know, if you were doing a gold um, 
colorway mm -hmm. you've got that wire there and you you will go through a lot of it as well it is great to have a lot of point four yeah because yeah. it is the one that you will go through the most if you want a gizmo coil in anything yeah. like that it's what you're going to need perfect for that yeah. isn't it yeah £2.95 for all three, Middlesex, County Durham, you're there, Greater London, you're there. <coughs> Please excuse me. Now, we're going to give you, what else can we do for you? Let's see, has this got a drill hole in it? No! So you'd go straight and prong set it, wouldn't you? Is that a quick look? Just check it's, it's not in there. Uh... Yeah, no. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it lovely? Oh, I love that. It's got a lovely feel Ooh. to it as well, hasn't it? It feels amazing and it's purple fluorite. It's lush. And the carving means that you would be able to catch the um, sort of the prong set, that I would set the prongs almost within those sort of carvings. Yeah. And that would be perfect. Very simple. I wouldn't do anything to overcomplicate that. Love these purples. I think they're pretty as punch. Pretty as punch? No, it's pleased as punch, isn't it? <laughs> well, pretty punch can to be, be pretty. To be fair, in, in your world, it could be anything. It could be anything. Yeah, it's all the one. R-U-S-K-94 is your I can go for this one. You have got 28 carats there of fluorite. Fluorite is a gemstone that glows in UV light. I tell you what, oh, look, more leaves. <laughs> I think he was feeling a bit leafy when he did our hour, wasn't he? <laughs> I think we should all do, I think we should all just talk about leaves to him for our whole hour at <laughs> the weekend. In the week, sorry. We could actually, actually to be fair, I've had an idea, Laura. Have you? Have you got anything? I have don't you know. got some round nose pliers and some snippers? I have round nose pliers. Idea. I think we should just make. Right. Round nose pliers. Um, have pliers? you got any? Did he bring you anything? Can I please may I have some of them jump rings? You may. Or those jump rings, even. Thank you. Um, what else do I need? I might need one of them. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You're gonna share or are you just gonna just Oh I'm just making. You're you just know? making? What are you making? Uh I'm making a leafy thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just show you. Making a leafy thing. Well, that sounds interesting. Just making a leafy thing. Well, what I thought we could do <laughs> is. Oh no, I was right the first time. Put that on there. Yeah. See, I'm losing my mojo. Do you see what I mean? I've lost my normal s skills. Okay, then I was going to... Have you got a, have you got a heady pinny? Um, a pin of head? Thanks, darling. I mean, I meant... Sorry, I didn't mean a... Normal. A head pin, I meant a an earring finding. I should, yeah. A very leaf-based um, design here. It's made an earring straight out of it with... We've got sterling silver leaf connectors. And I think you make loads of earrings out of these. Bum, bum, bum. Made a pair of earrings. I messed up the loop big time. I'll, I'll rectify that now. To be fair, you're doing this in a hurry. Yeah, that loop is actually embarrassing. I'm going to sort that it's out. No, I just minute. need to cut the wire down a little bit, that's all. Yeah, and then wrap it in. You just... I'll do that now. What, for how many? Are these sterling silver? Silver place. I going to say 4 95 for that. Send another one to the floor. Sorry. <laughs> Got a little collection going on down <laughs> here. <laughs> I think we should. Um, I just want to uh, sort my loopage out. Mm 
So what you just did then then was you just cut the um, wired the head pin down a little bit, yeah. So that a bit yeah. like um, I showed when I we attached it to the um, pendant. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, my dear. So that's what I did. Pop that back on. And then, you know, you're getting all these leaf-shaped things. We could actually just keep with that theme. Um, these leaf connectors would be great if you're doing something like, um, you know, like a dream catcher or yeah, something. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Um, oh, I'll do, I'll do that. I'll do a little leaf uh, dream catcher in a moment yeah, do as a well. Yeah, leafy dream catcher. So this is something that you could do with those, um, with those leaf connectors. Make an earring out of it. Leaf dream catcher. <laughs> I'll put this in there. Do you now. Do the <laughs> dream catcher. Okay, where, 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 sorry darling. Now, more leaves, of course. Um, but this time, bloodstone. I'm oh, obsessed with bloodstone. This stone's beautiful. Bloodstone. But what's this? What's this? This new kite, look. That's the cow site, I think, isn't it? Because I was in the other day, we had Dalmatian. like um, the raw um, sort of like rock of it almost. Ooh. Bloodstone, do you know what, the, what, what they say that is, bloodstone? No. The blood of um, Christ from when he was being crucified. Oh. That's what they say bloodstone is, the blood that Jesus shed. Oh, I did not know that. I mean, it's quite morbid, but it's um, <laughs> yeah. that's what it's why it's called bloodstone. That's mad, isn't it? Well, you drink blood of Christ, don't you, if you go to church? You don't go to church. I remember drinking that and going, I thought it'd be really nice. You know, when you're little and you're like, that looks so nice. How can they get it? That bread yeah. looks... Because that bread I used to think just like rice paper. <laughs> I'd be like, how can they get that? Like, you're allowed the bread, but you can't have the sip of the blood of Christ. Now I know why. Because <laughs> you do, you want to go up and just go, like everyone does, don't you? <laughs> Please give me blood of Christ. Oh. <laughs> Things you do, eh? <laughs> things we do. Uh, these are beautiful hand carved leaves, and you've got an array of gemstones there for seventeen pounds and ninety-five pence. Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, now, you will be absolutely gobsmacked to know <laughs> that we've got another leaf. <laughs> with your favourite leaf-related song. Freezing. You are like every time you touch me is like everybody always like, coils when I touch them. I, it's like someone's you know when um like you get a an ice of ice. It is like you know when you get ice cubes and you're like, ah, this is fine. Yeah, everyone that's does what you're that like. To me. Yeah. But my hands, my fingers are cold. Yeah, every time I get into bed if I touch but my, I my feet, it's like, get those freezing cold trotters off me. <laughs> Such love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are like just Oh yeah, I know. No love lost. <laughs> Four ninety five for this beautiful oh, green that's beautiful, onyx. Isn't There's a lot of myth and legend behind onyx as well. I love green onyx. I think it's a very um, again. We don't see it very often. It's got a beautiful glow to it. Green, <laughs> green onyx. Now let's have a guess at what's going You have to 
really love leaves <laughs> in this hour. Because guess what I've got for you next? I can't eat a leaf. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, everyone. <coughs> Anyone got any leaf jokes? Because no, I, I I'll don't. leaf it out. You must have. <laughs> no, no? no. It's rubbish. <laughs> you could do your base for a tree of life here. I think there's only so many things you can say about leaves that we haven't already said. Leaves are wonderful. Trees are wonderful. Autumn, carnelian is autumnal. We love carnelian. It goes really well with amber. It goes really well with um, sort of deeper, deeper shades. Maybe you've got some smoky quartz that go really well with that. <laughs> they're, they're trying to Google leaf jokes. There's none. How about the songs of what you did? You go leaf did you... songs. There's no songs about leaves. <laughs> is there? Is there a song about leaves? Daydream Beliefer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in life after leaves? <laughs> Falling leaves, no? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like a song you would sing when you were on a swing as a child. Leaves, 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 leaves. <laughs> Autumn Leaves by Eva Cassidy. Eric Captain on. <laughs> Sweet Leaf by... <laughs> These are not people I imagine to sing songs about leaves about either. Are they? <laughs> New Leaf by Bad Religion, they're just saying. Last Leaf by a band no one's ever heard of. <laughs> Okay, if there's songs about leaves, then there's people who love leaves, right? <laughs> Stay tuned! Oh. Here, please. Uh, <laughs> MPSK52. <laughs> now, how much is this, my darling girl? 4 95 There we are. Under £5. 22 counts of carnelian leaves. Let's have a look at the deal of the day, because that's not leafy. Do you know what I should do on um, Monday if I were you guys, if I was in? I'd go outside and I'd gather a great big bag of leaves <laughs> and I'd put them all over Sam's desk. He'd love it, because he loves leaves, doesn't he? <laughs> Sam's who put our hour together this hour. He's feeling very leafy. Hi, darling. Hello, just wanted to give you that. Thank you. Uh, uh, Thank it's not you. a leaf. What a relief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make like a tree and leave. Good boy, good boy. An actual rough formation. A collector's specimen. specimen it just sounds rather <coughs> so we've got here uh, and, and the thing is about having something like this it's about having something so close to nature isn't it and it's about having something that's completely and utterly unique you'll never get to the exact same in fact if we have a look at the recordings there's two very separate very different ones in that here's this one And then there's this one. And then there's the one that you've got there, and they're all different, aren't they? Yeah. I said, gee, why 24? This is your deal of the day. Collection, collector specimen size. I've got a little flat one, but it would, it's, that's different, isn't it? It's a different one. Yeah. Forty nine ninety five. They are. Let's do this one. Do this one. Do this one. Now this, I've got a little hole in mine. You've got a drill hole in there. 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. It looks like Africa look. Looks like the country Africa. Does it? Is that what Africa's the, kind of the shape of that, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say. Or is it Brazil I'm thinking of? No, I think that looks like Africa. I've, no, I'm not going to even... I don't know. I mean, I'm not very clever. <laughs> you well, are clever. I'm not really when it comes to geography. No, but I'm not I'm clever not. for a reason in geography. <laughs> I got kicked out. Now. <laughs> so naughty at school, honestly. I got kicked out of science and I got kicked out of geography. <laughs> I got hit round the head by my history teacher. I love you just give me a note to say. Yeah. My history that's... teacher walloped me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's we do not condone that. No. And he did get fired actually, but to be fair. <laughs> to be fair, I probably pushed him. He did him get fired it. for it, but yeah. Yeah, because you can't really go hitting students. No, not but really. to be not fair. I, it was it was the nineties actually, Chris. But thanks. <laughs> Look, I've put one of those leaves in it just to you know counterbalance. <laughs> oh, sorry, get the leaves out of here. Okay. <laughs> Not because we don't love them, because we feel like we've had enough of them. This is twenty nine ninety five. It's beautiful. Magnesite. Look, in this form. Magnesite was used loads in the Victorian age, wasn't it? That's, I've never seen it like that before. That's beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. You always normally see it dyed, don't it's you? It's black magnesite. Well, it, um, polished, mainly yeah. polished um, up so that you've got... I mean, this is incredible. They used to, like, upturn them, didn't they? And put them in watches and they would sparkle like diamonds. Really sparkly. Really sparkly. There is. Is it. Hang on. Magnesite. Would you say magnesite or magnesite? Magnesite. Because a lot of people call it magnesite, don't they? Yeah, I personally would want to call it magnesite, but I think that's because I've always heard it as that as well. It's gorgeous. It's supposed to be a relaxing and a calming stone. It's, do you know, oh, it's named vein. after the presence of magnesium in its composition. I've oh. never seen it like that, but I've never really ever seen it, like I said, dyed in, in different colours. So it's really lovely to see it like that. And again, this is a lovely um, sort of stone to be able to give to a gent as well. Mm. Definitely. Let's look. I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's some like Victoria. The Victorians used to use this. Um, let me just look it up. Because I'm sure. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, you. You actually, magnesite takes on a really incredible. It, it takes a dye really well, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I said it's very commonly dyed to replicate other gemstones. So it's very often they, they sort of will dye it sort of like a blue colour to replicate mm. turquoise. Um, but to see it in that form, I think is really um, something special, really. And that's beautiful. It is gorgeous, isn't it? That finish is really different as well. You've got like um, some real gold in here. Mm. Well, you've got the gold vein. It reminds um, me very much of like the um, pyrite cabochons that we've done where you yeah. get like the sort of, the sort of, um, the, the pyrite's almost broken up over it. It has that kind of effect, but it's a lot more, obviously it's consistent in its colour. Um, teaming that with your copper wire, let me see. You put that with your copper wire, that would really bring it out. Eleven ninety five. I do you know how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven of these. And again, it's lovely, classic, easy jewellery, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So this is something that you could literally just restrand this and have a really lovely statement necklace. And that little element of that gold vein really gives it that. It just makes it a little bit more different, doesn't mm. it? Maybe some little gold. I don't spacer think you'd beads. guess that it was this gemstone either. No, would you? I wouldn't have. I really wouldn't have. Is it totally natural? Beautiful. Well done for grabbing that. Red Ocean Jasper. 
This colour. Okay, these are quite mukite you know, these colours. Yeah. I love mukite. It's, yeah, because the mukite's got such a lovely variance of colours going through it. It's almost like you've just taken that mm. kind of, um, the sort of soft plummy purple colour and put it all into one strand. Yeah, it is a plummy purple, isn't it? Oh, I love it. I think that's sensational. And again, a bit smaller, so it's something that you could, again, you could just simply restrand that. But for me, that's the kind of strand that I would be putting into um, a pendant, maybe wire wrapping around it, doing one-off pendants, mm. rings, you know, maybe making a, a nice little stretchy bracelet. Again, maybe just have one as a, as a focal yeah. um, and really sort of pick it. Even earrings, actually. I mean, they'd be a little bit more statement, but just one on a head pin would be lovely. Yeah, I, look, you've got like... Real amazing sort of spots in this. I can see faces. I love this. Look at that. Look how different they, they are. And you really will find your favourite. This one's yeah. super deep, isn't it? And again, you could almost, again, you could use it as a cabochon if you wanted to. Um, you know, we, we do a cabochon workshop here and I always try to say to people, don't feel that like you just, just because it's a, a cabochon, a, a drilled gemstone, that you can't treat it like a cabochon. Mm -hmm. If anything, yeah. you can use that drill hole for that bit, you know, if peace of mind, if you're feeling a little bit unsure about it, or you could sort of net around the edge in, but not, but still use that drill hole. So it's it's decorative and not a fi not functional. Yeah. So yeah, there's lots. It's a beautiful strand, though. Really it's lovely, beautiful, isn't it? Bag charms. Oh yeah, key rings. Yeah, key rings, something like that. And again, I think that's something that you could give to a boy or a gent um, if you were putting on a bag charm or yeah. key charm or something like that. Definitely, mm. definitely. PFT815 is your item code. 380 carats of red ocean jasper. Love those. I think they're gorgeous. There. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I was like Nemo. Snowflake obsidian is, for me, a bit of an obsession. Um, formed from the volcanic ash that rains down after an eruption, snowflake obsidian gives you that point of interest, each one completely and utterly different to the next. And I don't know what I'm doing with my hands here to try and display <laughs> these to you. <laughs> These are beautiful cabochons. Um, I think they're all rings. I'd put, I like snowflake obsidian in, with silver in a ring very much. Yeah, and again with that, what you could do is, um, because it's, and I say this, so basically you can prong set a, um, <clears throat> a ring. Mm -hmm. And when it's a gemstone like that, where it's a solid block of color, yeah. you can do, it's, it's ideal because you were not gonna see any of the workings behind it. When yeah. you have a transparent gemstone, then you can, because obviously everything you work behind will be visible. So this would be really easy to set to a prong set ring. Really, really easy. Yeah, it would. And again, you've got a pendant now. You've got a suite if you wanted to, yeah, haven't you? definitely. Oh, they could be brooches though too, yeah, couldn't they? Yeah, brooches. And you've got that monochrome that the black and white is going to go with anything at any yeah. time. Yeah, definitely. And it, I like the fact that it's kind of like a softer tone of black and white as well. It's not like um, too contrasting. Exactly. Let, can we do the little key charm, can we? I love this. When I was little, I had a pair of shoes and they had, they, um, they had a key in them. Do you remember? Magic steppers, they were called. That's really sweet. By Clarks. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember Keepers? I was exactly what I was thinking of Keepers. 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 I had a keepers swan. Keepers safe inside. I had a snail. <laughs> I think snail Keepers. Oh, mm -hmm. and they had their little friends, didn't they? Yeah. They had like the little Keeper inside. Oh, we had cool toys. We thought so. <laughs> They wouldn't like them nowadays. They'd be like, what does this do? Not enough. Because I haven't got an imagination. This is the perfect colour round for me. How Victorian is this key? I think that's beautiful. That's beautiful, isn't beautiful. it? And again, yeah, just that it. on a little necklace for the 21st or the 18th, oh, a special 21st. birthday. Oh, it's mm. a long time ago for me, Laura. And me. Go on. The girls, they're about 21, aren't you, girls? Or they're 26. Both of you. <laughs> 26 and 28. Oh. But again, it's for um, sort of, you can sort of anything really, to someone who's just got a new house or, but key for me. Door, yeah. Key in the door, yeah. But for me, I definitely think that would be 
um, sort of like a 21st present or Definitely. an 18th birthday. Isn't it lovely? And that's something that someone could um, sort of treasure then as well, isn't it? 100%. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. How old is Mia now? 18. She looks older though, doesn't she? She does. Everyone thinks she's like 22. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she's... She's only 18 in August. So she was late to be 18, if you know what I mean. One of the um, youngest of the year mm. then. And just passed her driving test on that. Fair yeah. play to her. But again, she, imagine give, being able to give that on a stone and silver chain. Yeah. I mean, how beautiful is that? It would be. And it's gorgeous. something that you can remember, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. £7.95 Z HG Y62. Beautiful detail on this, isn't it? I love that. I mean, I love it. So pretty. Because when you do get, if you think of like special birthdays, you end up with a big plastic key and then you put it somewhere. I never had one of those. I, I had one, I think, for my 18th. Because what are you Possibly for my 21st. What are you going to do with it? But what, yeah, exactly. What do you do with it? Where is it now? I honestly don't know. Yeah. And, but something like that is something that, and also you could wear Keep it at ever. any age. Is what you can wear that. And people mm -hmm. would just say that how beautiful it is. It'll always stay in your jewellery box. Yeah. So it'll almost be a little bit of an heirloom. It yeah. could be a charm on a charm bracelet as well. It's such a lovely thing to have, but you're right. You know, key to a new life, key to the door, key to your heart. Yeah. Keys when they're like this, big fat keys, not the skinny <laughs> non-romantic keys are lovely, aren't they? I've got yeah. one of those big chunky keys for my back door and I love it. Oh, I know what you mean, like a proper rustic one. Yeah. Aren't they? They're, yeah, key charms are expensive, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. But because people, like instantly, we saw that and straight away, we were 21st, like, 18th. Yeah. So people will associate it with a special occasion. Yeah, they do. So straight away, the cost will go up because mm. people know... Imagine That's if what your name associated. was Amber and you had that. Do you know my, well. my friend's daughter is called Amber? It's and a lovely name, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I love the name Amber. Yeah, and again, being able to give someone that, that's beautiful, <coughs> isn't it? Beautiful. Or, actually, she's going to be 13, I think, in January. And again, that would be a lovely gift to give. Yeah, teenager. Oh, mm. oh. I get too big too quick. <laughs> I don't want my son to be 15 in June. Now. Okay, I've, right, that was enough of a break from the leaves. So I feel like there's one <laughs> thing missing from this show. It's maple leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Bigger maple leaves this time. Okay, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute, because you've got a pendant kind of already made. Let's put these next to it and show how big these are. Let's okay. open up the strand. We've got a lot going on here. Let's so. have a maple leaf surgery, okay? <laughs> Let's open that up. Let's put one of them on there as well. Let's do. Let's let's because actually now you can see how much bigger these are, can't? You? Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you can see there, can't you? Mm-hmm. Let's, let's do it. Let's do something. Let's take one off the strand and have a have a little. So play. again, sort of, if you wanted it as that pendant, if you wanted that as the drop, maybe one of these at the bottom. Have this as a like that looks quite. Again, that's very sort of autumnal in the, yeah. in the necklace style, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or even as a little bracelet. Um, again, speak, if you had a speaker bracelet and you wanted it as the connector. A speaker bracelet? Speaker, is it speaker? Slider. Well, there's a couple of different names. But yeah. Speaker, I've never heard speaker. of Speaker. Are they called speaker bracelets? Am I making that up? Speaker bracelet. Speaker. Am I making that up? Never heard of that word. Wow. Yeah, but I thought it was a bracelet as well. But anyway. The slider bracelets, yeah. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, it'd be lovely as a centerpiece in that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because um, it's a lovely size, be a beautiful ring. Yeah. Gorgeous. Earrings, maybe on some lengths of chain. How many bracelet. have you got on that? Ten. Ten. Ten on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should be thirty-five ninety-five, which is just three pound fifty-nine and a half pence each. What? £24.95, there you go, so that's £2.49, well let's call it £2.50 each because there's no such thing as half pence anymore, BCGY08. <laughs>
So, yeah, and again, actually, just even as a little bracelet, that is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And sterling silver beads again. Yeah, uh -huh. sterling silver spacer beads. Yeah. So that's really pretty, isn't it? And yeah. I think this size is beautiful, just to add that little detail if you wanted to. But I really quite like... I really quite like the idea of just popping these onto a slider bracelet. Yeah, exactly. You can do so much with them. Uh, you can use your debit cards or your credit cards to come shopping with us here today at Jewelry Maker. Get yourself online, jewelrymaker.com. Tap the app. Get interactive with us. We love talking to you. 60777. What's your favourite leaf? at JM Studio and start your message with that word or you might want to talk to us about flowers or something completely different whatever you want to say keep it clean what's it supposed to be sweetie I haven't got any more have leads. I got are they the little head pins <laughs> no because these are the oh no no they're not the same connectors because these are one loop leaf connectors as opposed to the two loop leaf connectors that we just had <laughs> I really hope you like leaves, everybody. <laughs> Everyone's got the giggles. <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> <clears throat> okay, so we have the leaves here for you. So the last connectors we had, which were pretty similar, just simply had a loop on the end. So these are silver plated base metal leaf charms. You get 10 of them. See that again, you've got the connectors there, haven't you? And there's, there's your earrings really. Very leafy base earrings. Here we go, yeah, you can put them together. For all those leaf fans out there, you can put those together. These would look lovely just on a piece of chain as a tassel star necklace. They would have lovely movement, wouldn't they? Sure. And then maybe have like one of these like maple leaves as a sort of main feature at the bottom of the, mm -hmm. of the chain. Yeah, you could. Could I put these together and make petals out of them? The girls have both got Canada charms, uh, maple leaf charms on their um, charm bracelets for um, their trip to Canada. There we go. No, yeah, you could make sort of leaves out, of, um, flowers out of these leaves. Mm -hmm. Put them together and make leaf, um, flowers. Definitely. Well, that's the connector that belongs over there. Have I got a flower with an amber in there? Yeah, I have. And it's so cute. Tell you what, the leaf will go with this flower. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. That's a big amber. That's very similar to the, again, that's the kind of charm I would add to my charm bracelet. I think so, yeah. Because I've got the, oh, you have the, got I've got the four similar. leaf clover. Um, so this would be a lovely addition. So you've got that. That's a big amber, that. That's really big. Yeah, that's really it's lovely, sweet. isn't it? I'm just going to turn it over because actually when it flips, it's lovely on that side too. Yeah, that's beautiful. Isn't it just? Straight on the chain or straight with a, ju a jump ring and you've got yourself a, a charm there. Again, if you had the connector flower charm that I'm kind of um, wearing, that one there, you could actually have that as a little drop as well. Instead of what, it on being the ring? a ring. Well, no, not on the ring. If you didn't make it into a ring. I quite like a drop on a ring, though. Yeah, you could have it as a little charm. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really pretty. FTG Y65, your Baltic Cognac Amber. All yours with sterling silver for one fabulously low price. Of just £4.95. Got to do that fast, haven't you? Be quick, be quick, be really quick. 0800 6, 4, 6, 5, is the number to dial for it. Jewelrymaker.com if you are shopping online or you can tap the app. 
Join us after the break. There'll be more fabulous. It's our last hour. So let's do, let's go let's go all in demos, both of us. Let's just do it. Let's go all in demos. Okay. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do We're it. We're gonna do it. We'll see you okay. after this. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Join us this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the gem setting day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian nuggets. As well as that, we're going to be bringing to you the deluxe gem setting toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you yellow sapphire, aquamarine, pink amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also going to be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I'll tell you what, we've had some leaves, so we better have some flowers. The, this is beautiful. So much sterling silver. Look at this. The most amazing bale. A beautiful hand-carved amber rose. That's beautiful, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm going to turn it around so you can see. Look. Even the back's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. 
Very pleased with that. Very pleased with that. Straight on the chain. And because it's already bailed, you don't even need to put a jump ring on it. No. That's beautiful. Um, we've done the card roses before, just as plain cabochons. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to have it set into a pendant for people that, you know, struggle to set the cabochons. Yeah. It's already been done for you. And how beautiful is that? It's stunning. And we all love roses, don't we? Yeah. I think this is so pretty. SOG Y38 is your item code for this one, whether this is going to go... No, I think it is just a pen. I think it's going on, on a... Do you know, you could do a Viking weave necklace. You could do this. Viking knit, sterling silver yeah. Viking knit necklace with that would be beautiful. <coughs> yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Please excuse my cough, I'm so sorry. SOG Y38 should be 19.95 knot. That's got knot. a lot of sil um, silver on it though as mm. well, hasn't it? Mm. Sorry, the tools are here for a reason. Because we're just going to make along. We're making and doing. We love a bit of make and do. Mm, don't we, we do, yeah. 14 95 for this one. It's ready to become yours, isn't it? I think you could just gift that straight away. Oh, it's ready you? made. To me, was that. Oh, try it as that pendant from Let's earlier on. Let's try it. Let's try it. So we made this earlier, or well, Laura did. So I'll, actually, if you give me that pendant, I'll de. Construct it. Decompose it. Construct. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's just easy, isn't it? Isn't it? Doing it again. Oh, that's beautiful. It is gorgeous, isn't it? See, I could imagine that being worn by a vintage bride as well. If you wanted to do, if you had a vintage um, themed wedding. Definitely. Yeah, it's got that vintage feel to it, actually. Just as it? it is like that, I think it would be beautiful, yeah. There we go, let's have a look. It just hangs beautifully. Very sweet indeed. I like that. Oh, that's lovely. Have we got any of those chains left? We think they sold out. We'll have a look. We'll double check. There might be ones and twos. We're going to have another check for you. There's some left. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, and we've only much, got nine of them they, left. Wow. So you would have a necklace for just just barely over £20? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's incredible. Again, if you saw that in a boutique store, yeah. that would be sort of your £60 to £80, if, uh -huh. if not more, mm -hmm. um, necklace, wouldn't it? Definitely. And there's no work required. You, well, you saw how easy that was. I think it's stunning. So pretty. So pretty. I've got my favourite thing. Of the, well, actually, I've got two favourite things of the hour. Quite a lot of favourite. We've got gold chain, don't forget. I'm going to keep my favourite favourite there. That's lovely, isn't it? £14.95. Well done, London. Gloucestershire, Essex, Worcestershire with two. Hertfordshire, you've got yours as well. Inverness, you've got yours. It's 28 by 15 millimetres. And it's beautiful. Look at the glow from the centre of that. Now, we're gonna go to, oh, a bluey green amber, really rare. We love this. And it's an apple. I love apple. What is it about the apple symbol? Is it because of um, Snow White? Yeah, you think straight away, it? The you know, the first thing you think of is Snow White, isn't it? Yeah. No, what are you after? I need something like a tweezer or There's something. There's your tweezers. It's okay, I'll do it with that, that's fine, thank you. It could be, it is very Snow White, isn't it? Did I say Beauty and the Beast? No, the, the rose was very beauty oh, in the yes. beast. Sorry, it plopped off. Yeah, Liam doesn't eat apples. Did he like it? <laughs> Look at that green. I don't like pears. Oh, I love a pear. I don't like the texture, they're a bit it's weird. It's squidgy though. Oh. oh, I love a pear. They're so yummy. Pear juice is delicious. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Now we were talking about green and blue amber being the, the more rare um, colours that are coming out at the moment, the more difficult to get hold of, and you've got it here, your lemon and green, YZGY49, it's going under £10, gorgeous. You've got all that sterling silver there as well. Definitely yeah. if you've got a teacher in your family. Well, for That's your school. See, I wouldn't... It's a bit controversial, probably, but, you know, we talk about teachers' gifts. Mm. But personally, I don't give 
gifts to the teacher throughout the year, like for Christmas and things like that, but I would at the end of the year. Oh, do you? So see, I used to at the end Christmas of the, presents no, as well. No, see, at the end of the school term, like at the end of the school year, mm. I will give, give them a gift. I will make you, something yeah, for yeah, yeah. them. So for me, this is something that I would say, right, I'm going to grab hold of this now because, you know, it. I, that's, it sounds like miles but away next July. But if you get it now, it'll be there ready for you to gift it. You've got it ready to go. As a Christmas gift as well. And also, um, I think it was it you, Kerry, one of you two, said about me me liking Once Upon a Time, which was obviously... Um, what is Once Upon a Time? Have <coughs> I seen that? Who's it got? It's a TV show. Um, it's got. Oh, I haven't seen it. No, it's really, really good. Is it? Yeah, it's really good. Um, and again, that's all about um, you know, uh, this sort of characters mm. of like well, Disney characters, basically. Is it a Disney bit... show? Is it? No. Other, other corporations <laughs> are available. Yeah, it's like it's difficult. Anyway, it's a very good show. People. I'll explain to you later because it's quite a tricky one to explain. <laughs> it's difficult to explain. But it's really good. Um, but if you love, if you know someone that really likes those kind of programs, this would be a lovely little symbol as well as a gift yeah. to give. Yeah. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. Y Z G Y forty-nine. Now, this is huge. I think anybody that loves arts and crafts loves butterflies. I'd say this one would be very, very expensive. How much yeah. is this going to be? You've got a lot of amber in it, it's beautiful. Stop! Really? You've got, a, have you seen the size of it? It's beautiful, stunning. What? It's huge, this is huge. This is stunning. That's beautiful. Oh, I love this. Look at the colours. Look at the amount of silver that you've got. We've but all got friends beautiful. that love butterflies, haven't I we? I love butterflies. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah, some people who can't take the butterfly world because they're scared of yeah, them. Yeah, I've got two friends that are terrified, but I've got lots more that love butterflies. So. Oh, I love them. I love them. I think they're fascinating how they go into a chrysalis. Yeah. They're the, the Don't you think that's amazing? Yeah. Their life um, span and circle is, is amazing, the process mm. that they go through. Because it takes them ages to be a chrysalis and come out as a butterfly, but they don't spend long being a butterfly, do they? No. Yeah, how long do they last? They don't last that long when they're butterflies, is it? No, it's not a day. That's a daddy long legs. No, they last sure longer than like a day. Four hours, some is of them. It? I don't know. I don't know. Can you Google it? Does a butterfly live? I think it might also depend Daddy on... Daddy long legs are definitely 24 hours, aren't they? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, butterflies. Average butterfly. Oh, okay. Oh, two weeks as an adult, as an adult butterfly species, but can be up to a year. But usually about two weeks. I mean, that's not long enough being a butterfly, is it? And just think, so in, in butterfly years, they've been in that chrysalis for about 100 years. Does that mean we might go into a chrysalis for 100 years? We just don't know. Well, you do know, you we know don't. Um, which one, sorry, dear? $14.95. Stunning. Make sure you're checking out baskets. There's a small queue on the phone lines for this. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Let's give you the next one now, which is um, a variety of amber. And again, you've got that gorgeous green. This is very pretty. Now this is a connector. We've been seeing how you use connectors as well, haven't we? I'm just gonna hold on to it like this. So you've got a loop at the top and a loop at the bottom. I hold it here, you can see those loops. There you go. In fact, I will try and hold this here. See, this is the kind of piece of jewelry I was talking about earlier on, yeah. about finding a piece that would be set into silver, mm. sterling silver, mm. multicolored. And this piece, if you were to see this, not as a, not even as a connector, just as a pendant, you would. This would have a price tag of it of at least about sixty to eighty pounds. Yeah. It, this is going back a few years ago. I'm not, you know, but I know because I used to look for this jewelry for my mum. It's what I knew she loved. Yeah, and it's this is really, really. Um, it's got that. Amazing look about it, sort yeah. of um, 
It's kind of ethereal. It's got that sort of creeping vine. Yeah, I, I but love it's this. also got it's got that element, that botanical look about it, hasn't I it? I love the thought of this as like a side connector, yeah. and then maybe having some pearls or mm. um, you know maybe some other amber. You know, we've had these beautiful drops that I'm working with as well, something like that. I think this would look lovely as that feature. Definitely, it's beautiful. UDG Y27. Let's give you a fabulous price. Should be twelve ninety five. Should be twelve ninety five. Wow. She's going to take it down for you, but be quick. Very busy in this hour. Do you know, I was on air on Thursday morning, I think it was, with Elle. And oh, we had... 7 95 Sorry. Well, we <laughs> had um, Pariba Tourmaline, which was the doom of the day. And so she found some That's pictures right, of remember. Emily Blunt wearing these amazing statement mm -hmm. earrings. And they were, like, really sort of... Um, they came right down like this. They were beautiful. But I'm thinking this, you could do a pair of statement earrings using two of these connectors, one in each ear, and then having a drop at the bottom and maybe the little connectors that you've got in your ears right now. You know, because that is the look at the moment, that sort of bold but still sort of um, feminine piece of jewellery. Mm, definitely. I mean, gosh. And the, uh, the colours are just incredible. Mm. They're beautiful. Seven ninety five. That is incredible. Absolute madness. Madness. It really is. Next up, we're gonna go. Oh, this is like a Viking piece. I love it. That's gorgeous. Wow. That's a really sort of more modern, contemporary piece of. Amber. Look at how the silver makes an effect when you look at it through the. This is beautiful. It's a huge chunk of amber. This is. Right, I'm going to try and let the light behind this, so it's, which will be a bit difficult because I've got a dark top on. Can you see the silver? Look, I'm going to turn this around. Look how chunky this is. You could snip that top bit off and put it in a ring. But see how you've got that effect on the back? It actually shines through. How fabulous this? I think that's so gorgeous. I love the I way it's going to sit. It's very elegant, isn't it? Again, for me... I think long... that could be masculine as well, though, Lil. Yeah, it could be, definitely. Um, I personally think that on a long star necklace again. Yeah. I think that, to me, that the work's been done and, and put into that piece of amber, the way that it's been cut, the way mm. that it's been set. Mm. Like you say, the fact that you can see that detailing behind it is sort of magnified within. Yeah. For me, that is just, it needs to just be long star necklace. Keep it simple. Or you could have it in adjustable, so you could wear it sort of however you want. Gosh, I think that's fantastic. That's incredible. What a pendant, it's beautiful. YVG Y95 is your item code. Should be £24.95. pence. But we're going to give you a tiny price. Right, this, this, this should not be this price. This is genuine cognac amber. £16.95. That, for that amount for of nothing. amber is yeah. incredible. For what you're getting, you're paying that is absolutely a lot nothing. There. And that setting, for me, that beautiful. setting is beautiful. You could put it on a leather cord. It could go on a chest. Yeah, you necklace, could. Yeah, I definitely. Think. Yeah. Look how sizable. Welcome, brand new customer. It's great to have your company. Thank you so much for choosing Jewelry Maker. You'll pay one PMP from midnight until midnight. So load your basket up. You can pay with PayPal debit card or credit card with your very first order you'll get what you actually ordered you'll also get a get started dvd and two strands somebody messaged in and said they got tanzanite with their two free strands and somebody I've had people I've, I've heard of people getting turquoise i mean we don't know what you're gonna and get amber and pearls stop obviously this is just an wow. example of what you could get but yeah we yeah it's incredible, isn't it? Wow. Wow. Well, isn't it lovely? When you get something for free. It doesn't happen often. Oh, my favourite. I've had it out, actually, the whole time. I love this. Oh, I love a cross. Let's put it on there. Please, may I have a jump ring? You may. Oh, didn't I give you some? Probably, but You've, I think you took them, them back I again. Didn't. Well, anyway. 
There you go. Well, Chris probably cleared them up, to be fair. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, efficient he is not. There he is, he is. He is actually, to be fair to him. In fairness, he is. I'm um, sorry, I just had to put this on the chain. I was joking, Chris, you are very efficient. Right, so what I'm doing is just adding a jump ring to this, because that's all you need to do. Um, and then pop it onto the chain, of course. You're not using the best pliers for that, are you? No. Switch them. Here you are. It's all right. That'll be all right. That'll be all right. Be all right. Hmm? That'll be all right. That'll be great. Right, so I wear a cross, um, and my daughter wears a cross every day. It's a luck thing for me. I can't take it off. I can't take it off. We both bought them at the same time. Um, I love it. My granny used to wear one all the time. I bought her one that was made of amethyst, actually. I'm just going to drop this because the chain's ready to go. I think that's beautiful. I think they can be symbolic of faith or fashion. So, uh, and I think they're traditional, aren't they? Yeah. This is a beautiful amber pendant and definitely is my favourite. I think you've got a lovely element here. You've got the spiritual meanings of the amber and then you've got the symbolic meaning of the cross. It's a really lovely setting for the yeah. amber as well. I love the way that it's been sort of set in that square setting. Me too. It really showcases it and it really, it's perfect um, to put it into that cross. It's perfect for it. I think so too. It's lovely, isn't it? Baltic cognac amber in that cross. I'm going to buy this. How many have we got? Oh, we don't have a lot of them. Look, this in a in a jeweler's window is something you would go in and grab, well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, definitely. It's going to catch your eye, isn't Defin it? Definitely. Absolutely. And again, I think if you had like a rosary link style. Oh, you could rosary it. Yes. You could rosary amazing. it, couldn't you? And again, yeah. you could do this for gents as well if you wanted to, having that cross at the very end. You could rosary it with that um, with that bracelet that seems to have gone missing. I promise you, I didn't put it on. Um, the round one. But use those rounds yeah. as a rosary link rounds. Stunning. How much is it? Because I want to buy it. <laughs> it's only £9.95. HRGY03, your Baltic Amber Square Cross Sterling Silver Pendant. This is going to sell out now. Florence, you've got yours in, in, Derry, in London Dairy. Um, we've got Edith with hers in County Durham. Judy in Yorkshire, you've got yours. Isn't it gorgeous? What a great Christmas gift and so symbolic yeah. of Christmas as well. It's not about presents, you know. Not for everybody. Pamela in Greater uh, Manchester, you've got yours. Uh, Jane, this is going to sell out. Jane in Greater Manchester, you've got yours. If you love it and you put it in your basket, check it out straight away. We've got telephone callers for this as well. I think perhaps maybe you, you want to buy this in multiples. We don't have very many cross pendants. And they are the ones that I buy. I always buy them if I see them. I really like the way that that's been set, though. I think that that is a very um, classic and it's beautiful way. It's quite gothic, way. actually. Yeah, it's really it? nice. I really like it. And I like the fact that, like you say, keeping it simple on that chain, it looks beautiful. Mm. And again, that chain being that balance is what I spoke about earlier, wasn't it? About having that right balance of chain against yeah. your pendant. And yeah. I think that balances beautifully. Me too. I think it's lovely, isn't it? What a lovely cross this is. Donna, check out... Susan has. Jane in Manchester, you need to check out. It's still in your basket. That, that's going to sell out, I think. Uh, is that gone limited stock? It's gone limited stock. You need to be quick. Oh, I love that. Well done to you. The next one we're going to do, it was meant to be here, but it's not, so we're going to give you a little spinny spinny. Oh! oh <laughs> he's so I cute. need this. This is little my birth crabby. This is my birth sign. Oh. Star sign. Nip, nip. Yeah. He's great, isn't he? I need this. So it's for two reasons. One, I love anything oceanic anyway. So mm -hmm. I love the sea and the ocean. And it's my star sign. Is so it cancer? Yeah. Yeah. So I, this needs to be mine. <laughs> I think. Personally. You do need that, yes. I do. I think I do. Little crabbies. <laughs> Delicious things. Now, we only have a few of these, actually. Do we have all of these star signs in them? Um, 
don't think Amber it's meant to be point. a star sign. I just think it happens to be it's that. Be a crap. Yeah. But this is brilliant if you've gone somewhere with somebody and that's, you, you know, seaside town. Yeah. Let's go crabbing with the kids. Yeah. And then we had Krabby in a bucket for the whole holiday and then we had to put him back because he was turning a funny shade. <laughs> He went like a green colour and I said to Max, we need to put Krabby back, he can't come home, he, he's dying, he needs his mum. And he was like, Krabby, you know when kids cry about pointless mm. things, the whole way home we were in Perrinporth, he cried about Krabby the whole three hour journey home. I just want Krabby. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> I saw a lady today on a dog walk and her kid was just absolutely breaking her heart over something ridiculous. And it really made me laugh because I remember that when you're just like, I can't help you, you know, like you can't eat that sand, all right? It just, you just can't, you just can't eat it, you'll get ill. I just want to eat the sand, why won't you let me? I'm like, why? Why? What is wrong with you? OBG, Y78, your Baltic cognac and the crab charm. £18.95. Oh, 0800-644-655 is the number to dial. Jewelrymaker.com if you're doing it online. And of course, you can always download for free our app. Uh, remember, buying pairs of these will make earrings. Now, we can't really see what size this crab is, actually. So could you um, could you tell me? Does it, do you have that de on, on, on your details? Because I think you can't tell at all, can no. you, what size I it is? I personally hope he's big. I would wear it as a pendant. I think that would be yeah. really nice. I, I really like that. Um, and again, for me, it's got a lot. It's got, you know, for me, it's my birth sign. It's yeah. got amber in it. I would maybe pop it on some pearls. Ooh. The what, sorry? The width is 12 millimetres. Oh, so that's a, that's good, isn't it? What's 12 he, by 9 millimetres, so that's be like big. A little, yeah. He's, he's yeah, a big one. Yeah, maybe. He's a big one. Oh, he's cute. He is cute, isn't he? Six, oh, 18 pounds and 95 pence. OBG, why 78? Lots of you in for that one. Save one for Laura Binding, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> sorry, I keep coughing. Right, so we had the same as this earlier, but smaller. <coughs> so if you want to graduate it, please excuse me. Um, if you want to graduate it, you can. This is a, con oh no, yeah, this is a connector, look. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. And you put the smaller one. <coughs> Look at the quality of that amber, it's lovely. I love the way that that silver's been just swirled around it. I just think that really is a beautiful, um, again, a beautiful way to showcase that amber and to set it. I think it's really pretty. Agreed wholeheartedly. Would it go in a pair of earrings to to get a couple of those? So I think it's perfect size, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And again, if you've got the smaller ones, they would be lovely as that in between, just to have the smaller one attached to that one and just have that as a, as a sort of multi-layered pair of earrings. But yeah, I think, oh, that's really pretty. With the leaf? With the leaf. <laughs> We've had plenty um, of leaves. Or, yeah, got the little one that I took off of the, um, oh, where'd you go? Let me find it. The one I took off with the pendant that we made. It's there. No, that's the larger one. Oh. And there he is. Yeah, yeah I'll let you lovely. do your magic. Oi, Will. Mr. Leafman, bring me a leaf. Make it as leafy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you make cat noises when you drop things? No, or is it just me? It's just you. I don't know. I mean maybe you two do, do you? No? No. 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 Just no. just you. Just me. I'm trying to tuck that in, I'm not helping myself at all here. Not the best loop again, but an example of what you can do. just to utilise that little drop. I think that's pretty. It's a pair of earrings or a pendant. I think that would be beautiful. It's nice to have that swing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's lovely. And you did have plenty of leaves to use up. A-I-G-Y-51. Yes, that's what it says. £6.95 for, for that beautiful amber is, is a very good price indeed, I'd say. Very good. Very good price. £6.95. So, 
Lots of you coming through for that one. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Northamptonshire, check out. Hertfordshire, check out. Herefordshire, check out your basket. Oh, Herefordshire. <laughs> Lovely there. Have you been to Hereford? I don't think I have. Lovely. Very pretty. Where now, dear? Wait. Oh, sorry, I'm cold. <laughs> it's all right. It's fine. I'm going to show you what we got now. You're going to love it. Oh my goodness. I know. I know. With a little heart tag on it. And it's long. Look how long it is. I'd wear it at the front, you know. Gosh, it's really long. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. Is that, oh, is that one oh, of the ones that's slight. adjustable? <gasps> yeah. Oh, even better. I'd put a pearl on that with that, would you? Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I love it. That's something, again, that you can sort of embellish if you like wanted, that. yeah. Very elegant. Very elegant. Okay, come down, come down, come down. Oh, it's so gorgeous, isn't it? You could put a pearl, or you could put... An amber, of an course. An amber. Absolutely. A little drop. One of the Sorry, hempkins. I'm scratching because I hadn't um, washed my shampoo out properly. <laughs> One of these, you mean? Yep, one of those. Use one of mine. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Would I snip it about right, there? Right, so what I would say is I would bend it first so it's got that angle. Those aren't benders, are they? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I come back with right, that. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. Let go. See, now I come Let go. back now. No. Let <laughs> go. <laughs> right. These are the ones that you would use. There, so you just have a slight angle. Yeah, you only angle yours, don't yeah. you? I always put mine all the way. No, over. I only angle it and then mm. just cut it about a centimetre and then you can just and roll then it. And then roll it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, my dear. Okay. Yes, thank you, darling. It's all right. So about there, Law. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you can't see what's happening. <laughs> And then just use your round nose pliers <laughs> and just bring that around into a nice... Um, Do you bring it forward or backward? I would roll it, so you've angled it and then I would roll it. So the reason, I, yeah, the reason I did the angle is so that it gives it a nice smooth loop shape as opposed to sort of having a, almost like a D otherwise. Mm. So go towards the end, come back, out, take your pliers out, take your pliers out. Now come back in, reposition and take the end and roll that around now. Because you see how the end is kind of going in a straight line. You want that to curve. That's it. There and then know. kick back, yeah? Well, you shouldn't need to kick back because you did that curve. Um, that's why we did that bend at the beginning, ah, to avoid the kick back. Of course. Right, so what was I doing putting that on there? And you're going to add that to your um, necklace. Should I put it on there? Pop it that? on with the heart, can't you? Yeah, I'd say. I mean, you'd use perhaps a gold... Yeah. Oh, actually, I don't hate gold and silver together. I actually like them. Okay, this is nine karat gold on sterling silver. Now, I don't want you to think of gold um, as a plating being a bad thing like it was in the 80s. Gold plating is such a process and it's a long process. It's a process that is done so that it doesn't tarnish and it doesn't come off easily. Um, and it's done so that it's an affordable way as well to own gold. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you were to go to a shop and buy a chain like this, you'd be paying a lot more. Look, we've put the amber there. Put the amber there with that pendant, and oh my gosh. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? That looks beautiful, doesn't it? With that gold, it's stunning. What a beautiful chain. Do you want me to show you how I slid it? Because it was really, really lovely and slidey. So I just went, I'm going to unslide it for you. So it will go all the way down like that. And then you'll have that um, lovely gold ball there as well. But then what you do is... It's got like silicon or something in it. Just literally, ready? Follow me up. Zoom. Oh, we've gone all the way down, so it's right the way down there now, look. 
Isn't it gorgeous? It's so pretty. Yes, yeah, so pretty. I love it. This is lovely. Absolutely love it. I've got the sterling silver version of this, and Ooh, I love it. Did you? Yeah, because again, um, it's something that it's nice not to be committed to a length of necklace. So it means if you fancied wearing a necklace shorter styled, then you've got that one chain that's going to be mm. adjustable for all of it. Yeah. That's just lovely like that. Oh, it's got, look how sparkly it is as well because you've got that, would you call that a box chain? It's a curb chain. See, I think it's the knit's quite tight on that. So mm. you do get a lot of sparkle. You're going to be delighted with yourself when you get this. Now, we're very competitive with our silver and gold. That is a fantastic price. Go and have a look because you've got... 56 that's over half a meter of gold on silver and when they when they overlay this with yellow gold nine carat gold you have got like it's a thick layering yeah and, and it goes it's such a difficult process don't forget you've got the clasp you've got the, the yeah. slider itself you've got the mm -hmm. little heart at the yeah, end you've got all elements. of the components mm -hmm. that make that a complete necklace as well so it's not you know you haven't just got the chain some and also that mm. chain is difficult to actually set the finding onto so you wouldn't be able to use a jump ring onto that no do you know what i mean so yeah. you need to have a certain type of finding which is obviously which been, is on there already, which is yeah. on there already so all that work's been done for you mm. stunning oh i haven't got my names i haven't got my names i'm just waiting for them uh well done to everybody that's got theirs i'm so jealous of you sabine you've got yours tiny wear and you've got yours gosh uh, honestly liverpool you've got yours it's this is the sort of thing to have in your stash when mm -hmm. they're a very 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 special piece of jewelry pops into your mind and it's just got to be gold yeah and there are some some people as well like my mother-in-law only wears gold oh gosh yes some people so have a preference and that's they the have end a preference of it. you know and so this would be ideal and it's an affordable way that if i wanted to give her something or gift her a necklace yeah. it's an affordable way for me to be able to still keep in with her color theme definitely and such. definitely 59 pounds and 95 Incredible. pounds igi l63 well done well done check out baskets because we don't have many how many left have we got We've only got two left. Okay. Some wire for you now. I think this colour wire goes exceptionally well. What gauge is that? Is it a one mil? I would have is thought it a one mil. I didn't know whether it was one or one point. Oh, it's a one mil. Yeah. You wouldn't get a one point two five in that kind of um, quantity. Okay. I don't think anyway. No, definitely wouldn't. Oh, there you go. Let's go say that's more than ten meters there. 50 meter roll. I have to really strain to see my. Th I really must go and get my eyes tested. Uh, here we have the rose gold. <coughs> go. <laughs> rose gold coloured copper wire. It was a bit of a mouthful for me for a minute there. EPP062. You've got 50 meters on this roll. Now, when was the last time you saw a 50 meter roll I, of one mil wire? Honestly. Ages. Can, no, I, can, I literally cannot remember. I mean, that's a long time it's, it's since I've seen that. It's back in the day, that. isn't it? Yeah, back definitely. In the day. How amazing is that? And it's I mean, sad. you can tell just as well, um, that's going to be lovely and malleable. Can you see how easy that is for me to mm. kind of, you know, and Mix it's... Like, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, going to be... Yeah, you can tell straight away it is. Yeah. What is it about the copper that... Why, why is it so much? It just is really accepting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and we've had the 0.25, which I'm working with at the moment. So again, this is going to be lovely to team with Ooh, your... Yeah, um, let's have a look what you're doing as well. Okay. So Laura's using some wire at the moment. So what were your base wires, Laura? Um... <sighs> I'll be honest, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty convinced <laughs> it was a 0.6 because okay. um, the thing with bare copper wire is it feels, the gauge feels finer than it actually oh, is sometimes. I okay. I'd say it's about a 0.6 because it's quite um, malleable. Mm -hmm. And then I've just used a 0.25 and I've just been using the um, graduated drops that it's you gorgeous, Laura. kind of threw at me, <laughs> literally. I mean, I placed them nicely. Yeah. <laughs> and Eight pounds they, and they sort of pounds. wanted to be worked with, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, but um, it, this colour mm, wire goes so well, doesn't it? It really it, does. Amber? Yeah, for me, I just think it really sort of brings it out, doesn't mm. it? Um, and again, then you've got this, which you could add if you wanted to make a nice um, talk star necklace with yeah. it, maybe. That would look beautiful. Be oh, yes. So have it in your stash ready to work with. Mm, definitely. De absolutely. Oh, look at this onyx. Oh, wow. I've not seen onyx like that before. Look at the cut of these. I've never seen anything cut like this before. Oh, you're going to like these a very lot. All these gorgeous colours. I love that. Oh, do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of sea glass. It does, yeah. I can completely see. Yep. I can see the sea glass. I can see the sea glass. Mm. Love these colours. Um, 
it's supposed to bring you like harmony and stuff, Onyx, if you believe in that kind of thing. And it's said, I think, I think that um, Onyx is used to help the spirit to pass from one world to the other, to the spirit over to, over the border. So you might see it, um, you know, if you have like a shrine, you might see some Onyx on a shrine. Is, is, do I mean shrine? Yeah, like a little dedicated thing to somebody who's passed. Yeah, yeah that's a shrine, isn't it? Onyx is, um, ha has been known and loved and adored for many, many years, and it comes in lots of gorgeous colours, and different colours can represent different things. Chakra bracelets, this yeah, would be fabulous definitely. for. Again, if you believe in that kind of thing, I'm all over those chakra bracelets. I love them. I was trying to convince Danny, producer Danny, the other day about chakra bracelets. He was not having a bar of it. <laughs> See, I've seen... I've seen... Um, I've seen green onyx and obviously black and red, but I yeah. haven't seen this kind of almost like, it's almost like, um, like an aqua colour. No, what's the, uh, what's the gemstone? Iolite. Iolite. It's Iolite. like an iolite oh, kind of blue. Oh, this blue, like an inky blue. Yeah, mm. it's kind of very, I've not, it's like an indigo kind of blue, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Um, and then you've got the lovely sort of sea blue here. Mm. I've not seen it in that colour variety before, and the green as well. Yeah, it's really striking. Now, I think I, uh, temptation is to keep it in this formation. I love, do you love the colour? I love that colour. Yeah, that's beautiful. The I like it like that. Ron does. I yeah, would me just too. chain either side, mm. and that would be a beautiful necklace. I agree with you. 12 95 CSVR 26, 110 carats of onyx. Don't let that pass you by that one because when you see onyx like that, it's different. Yeah. And people do know. They do know onyx, don't they? Yeah. I think so. Uh, don't forget, when you shop with us, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee and it's 1 PMP. A lot of brand new jewellery makers this evening. Lovely to have your company. Um, yeah, you'll get you'll get free goodies with your first order as well. Uh, you get a 30 day money back guarantee and you can use the, your debit card, your credit card or your um, PayPal. PayPal. Yeah, spread the cost if you want on there. Text in if you're, uh, if you're new or if you've never texted us in before and you think, oh go on, it is Saturday night. Text in and say hi. Text in and say hi. We haven't got long. We've not got long, you know. I do love a star, Laura. I do love a star. I think wish bracelets for these. Also, that cat and the moon oh, yeah, pendant the, that we the had earlier, because we, had, we yeah. were automatically thinking of an amber star. But that would work as well, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course. Of course. But it yeah, would. wish bracelets, most Anklets, definitely. Anklets, earrings. Mm. I just think um, stars are symbolic. Yeah. They are. Um, I think perhaps more popular sometimes than a heart when it comes to. Yeah. The symbols that we um, that we use. A lot of people have star tattoos, don't they? Yeah, they do actually. Yeah. And again, I think gents' bracelets can be done with this. Gents' jewellery can be done mm -hmm. with this. Again, I, and I don't know. If you see you with Max. I struggle with Jackson to find or to make jewellery for him to find a, um, a gemstone that I can use for him. Mm. Um, this would be ideal. Well, they are, aren't they? Because they're neither masculine or feminine. Mm. I agree with you. Um, now, a wish bracelet for those that wanted to know um, is. A simple strand of a cord put through the put through the gemstone, the star, usually is a star because you wish upon a star, and you can just one of them. Now there's a poem that you can download off free off you know the search engine, print it out, make it put it print it out on cardstock, put two holes either side, maybe you've got a crocodile or something. Take the bracelet you've made, which is simply you string it on and you put a knot either side mm. so that the gemstone doesn't go and you st and you tie that onto the verse that says about the wish bracelet. Now the verse um, tells the recipient that they should place this on their wrist and as they tie it up they should make a wish. When the bracelet breaks, so you don't want to do it too strong, you don't want to make a macrame bracelet. When the bracelet breaks legend will have it that your wish will come true now this is ideal for a christmas gift but it's also ideal if you wanted to make for and, and give some of the proceeds to uh, the profit proceeds to charities it could be like the make a wish foundation mm -hmm. or something like yeah. that so it's a really nice way of being able to give back to charities 
you can make some profit for yourself as well, but also it gives your mm. clients, your customers an opportunity to have something that looks re relatively, like super inexpensive to make. Yeah. So you would sell a wish bracelet for about eight pounds is how much they normally go for. Now you could donate donate like five pounds of that to charity yeah. if you're feeling generous. Um, I'm going to count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 44 wish bracelets. If you sold those at eight pounds, that's 22 p each, but if you sold 44 at eight pounds each, mm. what would I be left with? 352, so you could afford to give 100 pounds to charity, couldn't you, yeah. out of that? Yeah, definitely. And do you know, you're saying about um, stars. Um, I remember, and I still remember my very first purchase from Jewelry Maker. It was before I was a guest designer. It was like, a long time ago yeah um and it was a kit and it was a carnelian kit and it had exactly this strand but yeah. in carnelian, carnelian lovely. um and i you know i can't remember the other gemstones but it was the stars that sold it for me yeah, and i yeah. still remember it I was, and i was like i have to have that because i hadn't seen anything like that before. yeah yeah and they're really hard to get yeah. stars especially in genuine gemstones and i think if you are wishing upon them it is much nicer if you've got a genuine oh, gemstone yeah, to wish upon isn't it £9.95, E-W-K-Y-35. We're going to keep going. And I think um, Agate, again, is one that um, is a typical JM gemstone, but not in hearts. These are perfect for handbag charms and yeah. perfect for key rings. Most definitely. I think if you're making crackers and you're making your own presents to go in them, you, you should get these. Because you'll make, just straight away, it's a handbag charm or a key yeah. ring, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And again, I think because, you know, it's, they are heart shaped, but I, I think it's something that, again, I could give um, the blue one to my son and maybe, yeah. the, you know, actually Kayla doesn't do pink anymore, so she'd probably have a blue one as well. But they can keep them but in But they their, can keep them. Yeah, they keep could them actually in their pockets, their pocket keep, yeah, stones as well. Yeah, definitely. They? I love the fact that they're also individual as well. Yeah. Well, the, it's, and, and agate takes to a dye so well, doesn't it? It does, And yeah. when you see the dye, you see it in, it sort of takes in different areas in a different manner. So you get this different saturation of colour and, and therefore a real point of interest in each one. You've got a gorgeous uh, um, assortment here colour-wise too, haven't you? And the thing is, if you are going to be doing handbag charms or key rings mm -hmm. and you're going to sell them on, then you, you've got lots of colours for people to choose from. And, and I think these are giftable items then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, 17 key rings. 17 handbag charms, 9.95. So wow. that's and a brilliant price. Yeah, and again, this is the kind of exactly that, like you say, make it all up, have them ready to go, mm -hmm. pop it. I mean, it's like again, you say about bag charms, keyring charms. So Kayla's just started secondary school, and she's got a locker key. Oh yeah, they lose them. Oh lose yeah, that. she's lost it. She's lost it already, but she found it again. Um, you know, so now she has two because we had to buy a new one in between. But you know, pop, she loves charms. Yeah, and you know how they much is them. how much are these each? Um, was, it, was it fifty something? 59 so pence So we went into a shop earlier on. Um, it was a charity shop, but it was, it, I don't know whether it was new or, or old, because sometimes they have new stuff in, don't they? Oh, yeah, they? all the time. Yeah. Um, and it was a great big fluffy pom-pom kind of bag oh, charm. Oh, I love those. They're really cool. It was bright yeah. pink. I just said she doesn't like pink, but... Um, and it was £2. That was good. Yeah, it was good, but I was like, no. <laughs> do you know, <laughs> they're normally could, much more expensive than that. Yeah, but I was... You could do a genuine gemstone bag charm true, true. for 59p yeah that's true i was like kayla i could make you something for less than yeah, do you know what i mean true. like yeah um so yeah i think you it makes you realize how much people i mean she was like i want to buy this for two pound even if you sold all of those just on a head pin mm. for two pound each yeah, you're going to you be can. you know absolutely absolutely 9.95 now we're going to give you a recap on the which chain the gold one the silver one well i just so happen to have it here <laughs> I think it's lush. Do you like what I made? I didn't really do anything. I just put a jump ring on. I do love it, though. Now you're lucky this isn't around my neck, everyone. There we go. <laughs> now, this Prince of Wales chain, it, well, it's a twist as well, this chain. It's, you've got a lot of details. So if we have a look really closely at the chain itself here, and what did we say? It was a little bit 
it was a, bit, a little bit longer. It was 18 and a half inches, wasn't mm, it? Just like yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we had a we had an 18 inch chain next to it. And it was um, it actually it, it was half a half a, an inch longer, which is great. But of course, if you want it even longer than that, you can also uh, add an extender chain onto it. That's never a problem either, is it? Your Prince of Wales chain can be worn on its own or with a gorgeous pendant. And it is at a, such a great price. I can't believe we've got any of these left. Do you know that? No, I'm surprised. And at the price that it went for as well, I'm really shocked yeah, at that. Yeah, me too. Because that's an incredible price. And like I said, something that for me that's that one chain so if you were going yeah. away like you said you know if you were going to go away for a, a weekend or something like that you take that one chain and take a couple of pendants pop it into a little jewelry bag there's your pendants yeah and you can make it changeable and you can make it to suit absolutely ONIL48, solid sterling silver. Now, please check out your basket. It's only £6.95. How many have we got left? Let's see your names. Oh, goodness me. So remember, we actually measured it as eight and a half inches. 18. We don't have enough of these left, and we've got loads of you. Lurlin, uh, Christine, Poppy, check out baskets. Two brand new jewelry makers, check out baskets. Sheridan, Paula in Bedfordshire. Debbie, Suzanne, Pat, Tyne and Ware, you've got yours in a basket. You must check it out. Mandy in Worcestershire, Josephine in Herefordshire, Teresa in Cambridgeshire, check out your baskets. Anne in Worcestershire, check out your basket. We're seeing lots of multi-buyers. This chain is gorgeous. It really is. I, I definitely, if there's any left, I'm going to be adding that. Because yeah, me too. I also bought... Um, I mentioned about the Pareva tourmaline. I happened to buy the Pareva tourmaline. So for me, I'm thinking I could make a really lovely stone and silver mm. pendant, quite yeah. sort of wire heavy and showcase that tourmaline. And I, this chain would be ideal for it. Absolutely. And at 6 dollars now, now we've got four, how many? Four, no, how many? 46 oh, I'm not going to get baskets. one, am I? No. No, because they're over-allocated. I don't think you will. If you don't check out a basket at this point, you have definitely missed out on that one. Definitely. I still have my earrings in. Yes. <laughs> that was a silly question to ask. So <laughs> what we've got here, this is a pair of earrings in two findings. So you, the earring itself has the loop. So if I do this, that's what you're getting. And it's a post and butterfly back. I've added on. Did I do it or did you do it? I did it. You did it. It's Thanks fine. Well. <laughs> Laura's added on. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. Sorry. Uh, I've added on. Uh, Laura's added to on. To be fair, we just put a jump ring. So we, we put a jump ring. Together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny, you did it. Just that I added it on. Oh, yeah. I yeah. added a jump ring and I created these amazing earrings, which are super comfy to wear. Not sure how I feel about you getting that close to my hairy cheeks. <laughs> so here we go. I've got quite furry cheeks, haven't I? <laughs> well, oh. I've got a skin like a port scratching. Uh, ZNG Y38. <laughs> These are beautiful and they're a brilliant price, Laura. I mean, what were they? I mean, for the actual earrings to be made, the price was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, worked out, what, just under £20 for the, yeah. two, for the pair of earrings? You buy in the two separate components? Yes, exactly. Incredible. And that's amazing. Well, how much are you paying for these gorgeous earrings? Nine ninety five. Brilliant. They're laughing at my furry cheekies. I mean, I, it's blonde, but I could go in for a face wax. <laughs> Is it really bad? No. Oh, bad. No, it's fine. I would. Sure? No. You'd have to tell me. I would tell you. Because I can take it. Like, I just know. say, don't yeah, know. Yeah, no. Don't know. Wax. No, you're fine. <laughs> no, like, oh, you just. You never know when you go into work. <laughs> well, once my <laughs> disgraceful daughter made me wax her entire body from the neck down. It was the worst two hours of my life. Uh, ZNG Y38. Because girls just do this. When you have a teenage daughter, she's like, just wax me. And I used to be a beauty therapist, so I can wax. Is, oh, am okay. I giving you far not, too yeah. much information? No, it's, it's better I? now that you added the details, to be fair, I think, because when you just say, I just waxed my child, she was you know, like, when you, you say, actually, I was qualified. She came back and she was going on holiday and she'd literally grown everything. And I was like, do I have to? 
please. <laughs> She'll be thrilled She's about gonna me telling be you so this, proud yeah. of her mum. <laughs> I think it's been taken back, darling. The pendant. Oh the, no, it's here. These. Oh, oh well, no, the, well, the oh, pendant. The it, pendant that is the pendant. It was in the earring. These one. This one. This oh, the one. connector. Oh, the bail. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the bail that matches the earrings. There we go. But to be yeah, it matches it was, the spider that, that wriggled inside her. <laughs> That was one of my favourite stories Perhaps when I was you'll younger. Die. That's wrong, isn't it? Was it was very morbid, yes. <laughs> so the, the, there, there was, was an, an old lady, lady who swallowed, swallowed a, fly. a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps, Perhaps she'll, she'll die. die. <laughs> she swallowed a spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. She swallowed a bird to There's catch a lot the spider of that wriggled and jiggled and jiggled inside her. I don't know why she swallowed a spider. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It actually spins you out. <laughs> they actually used to love that story. <laughs> you used to be like, whatever happened to that woman? Whatever happened to her? Why didn't she just leave it at the fly? Why did she keep swallowing things? <laughs> well, it was silly. It was a silly story. <clears throat> this beautiful bell, we want to show you this because... So, um... Now, it's, it's kind of like a bale connector. This part here, I think, would be whoosh, up that way. Yeah, yeah. Because you've got that and then you've got the loop there. However, that doesn't mean just because we've done that that you have to do that. You don't have to do anything no. you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. I do. We've got the <laughs> part we connected to the bale that we connected. <laughs> there we go. The swang and swang. <laughs> Do, 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 do. You got a bit of song in your life, otherwise, you know. I wonder if to other animals, when we sing, it just sounds like howling. Do you know Come what I mean? using those. Okay. If you were like, if you were a dog and you watched us watching the telly, watching other people singing, uh, and if we switched it round the other way and it was dogs howling, what, dogs watching dogs howling, you'd be like, well, dogs are weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you just like Do you know what I mean? We've got the following. <laughs> so, right, use these. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you're a dog watching a human, no, nope. and you're like, right, so you know when we watch like MTV and other shows like that, do you? Th oh, let, it's completely irrelevant to what we're doing. So let's <laughs> just stick to this. This is a beautiful amber pendant. Have a look, solid sterling silver. You've got a, a wonderful connector here. Yes, it's beautiful. It we really we used this straight away. I mean, we should have kept it together, shouldn't we? But we didn't. I was trying to help, so I just That's kind you're, of... Oh, and you're very helpful for helping. <laughs> <laughs> XEG Y90, a Baltic Cognac Amber for £8.85. Just a little recap. We don't have lots of these. There's not time for it. You've got to... Got to think fast on your feet. I love that. I think it's so delicate mm, and pretty. Me too. It's gorgeous. Really is. Really gorgeous. XEG Y90. I've got to give these back because it's got all the amber from earlier. Oh, so they weren't yours then? I mean, the earring findings were mine. Okay. They need the amber back. But they can keep my earring findings if they want them. Because to be fair, I took them yesterday. <laughs> I'm giving them back now. Eight ninety five is your price uh, for that one. So, do you want to do the, the other one as well? Um, I don't have that one. Oh no. no, we don't. So we can't. I do have. It. I have the. I have the droppy. We've got no time. It's, all, it's gone. Thank you so much, Laurie. Now you're right. back tomorrow morning, aren't I you? I am. Yes. And what will you be doing? Pretty much the same as this, I think. Lots okay. of amber, mm -hmm. lots of fun. No kits tomorrow. No either. kits tomorrow, no. But I'm, I'm sure if anyone wants any demos, let message in and I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much. Uh, now we hope you've enjoyed this evening. I will see you on Wednesday. Maybe full of crazy stories. I don't know. Uh, we'll <laughs> see. Probably something will happen to me, won't it? So I don't leave my car keys this time in another country when yeah, I come no, back. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, now, good night. <laughs> God bless. Don't forget you can shop 24 hours on jewelrymaker.com. Thanks to Laura.
The Jewellery Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Order from us today at www.jewelrymaker.com. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. About our beloved Baltic Amber. Now I'm very excited because I will be with you this weekend on both Saturday morning live from 8 a.m. and Sunday morning live from 8 a.m. I cannot wait. Now then, let's get started. The deal of the day on Saturday is a free form amber slice. We also have Christmas Pendant Collection, which includes a beautiful robin, a poinsettia, teddy bears, and a phenomenal stag, which you are not going to want to miss. We also have brand new amber toggle clasps in cognac, in cherry, and in a beautiful lemon tone. Now then, when we come to Sunday, our deal of the day is a cognac amber ball with sterling silver filigree locket. We also have brand new colours of amber in earthy tones, butterscotch and the most stunning off-white in pendants and connectors. So make sure you join myself this Saturday morning with the amazing Linda Bromwell and on Sunday from 8am with the lovely Laura Binding.